All right. So, although he assures me it is not because he has a pile of conditions to clear, my... I, I'm not saying that I've had Afraid since session three and it's never cleared. Except that that's actually true and you totally have. Uh, yeah. But he apparently, Mike would apparently like to be doing, do the session recap. So... We open. By the, by the way, Joyce, you're you're kind of goobly. Coming that... coming across sounding very uh, uh, electronic. Is it everybody? No, uh, he no. sounds fine to me. Yeah, because uh, he sounds it... fine to me as well. Okay, well then it's me. So maybe, let me. Maybe it's your ears. Something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I Am it. I a chipmunk? No, I don't think so. You're not a chipmunk, it's true. People are sounding kind of broken up and staticky for me as well. Okay. I'll I'll retry um, making sure I'm on a different server or something. I've got the and, bandwidth about as low as I'd like to do it. I can do it lower. I can move it all the way down to 8 bits, but it really starts to sound like a phone call at that point. <sighs> not that there's well, really let me drop off and reconnect, and I'll be right back. Okay. And then we'll start the recap when it gets back here. I did finally... I don't. I did. I made the mistake of taking last week's recording and then processing it through a tool I don't normally use just to edit out some. I got very tired by the end, and there's a couple of wild digressions toward the end, so I was <laughs> chopping those. I mean, more than usual. And I, I'm, I'm shocked. Shocked to find there are uh, digressions going on here. Well, honestly, we were pretty well on on task and. De- Towards the end, we started discussing the ins and outs of Blades in the Dark, and that was fine. But it was, but there was a couple places where I, I don't know, I somehow mentally made some sort of connection to a book recommendation that I wanted to make, but it took me 20 minutes to explain why I was making the recommendation, <laughs> and then actually making it was a very lame sort of anticlimactic, <laughs> like, and so that's why you should totally read the book it's kind of good you know kind of like i was like yeah i'm just i'm cutting that shit out i don't need the rest of the world to know that i sound like that most of the time um anyway so i did that and the video or the recording which is normally about 400 mags was like four and a half gigs and it took me multiple attempts to get it up to uh youtube but it is finally up there (laughs) for all the world to bask in our uh basically a podcast with a with a video track with like a like a slideshow track alongside of it um recordings that we basically do anymore um not that there's anything wrong with that it looks like bill's is bill back no he's not yeah i'm good there he is. All right, uh right. things are still a little iffy but i'll make do all right well i mean if it gets really bad we'll i'll dial the i'd rather have everybody able to hear clearly as slightly tinny than have people Cutting out on other people. That's no good. That's no good. All right. So we open on issue 11. This is issue 11. This yes. This is issue 11 with the recap page as narrated by Concord. Yes. So uh, uh, I just see it like opening up and like that little two page spread uh, uh, with a. Uh, uh, Concord facing down Sable Star. And he's just got this like oh crap look on his face. And it's just like there'll be the little narrator captions in the background. It's like, oh man, today's been crazy. And I don't even think lunch periods ended yet. <laughs> after helping the guys look after Jason, both Link and I got called into the principal's office. And then there'll probably be like little panelists stirring Dr. Dawes mm-hmm. there. And it's like Dr. Dawes is a good guy, and he cares a lot about his students, but he almost got me to talk about the concordance. I need to watch what I say around that guy going forward. And then then at lunch, I found out Leo made a new friend, Taz. She's kind of weird, but she seems nice, and she's really smart. And she speaks Mandarin, and I really need to watch what I say around her, too. Wait, I should really just watch what I say around everyone. Ugh, being a super... A secret hero is rough. Jason and Harry have it so easy. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, it's so good. 
But right as lunch was finishing up, the Farlander showed up looking for something called a Kenome. And then Leo had to bolt because something escaped from somewhere else, leaving me alone with the bad guy. I was worried, but luckily the Concordance knew what to do. But then someone named Sable Star showed up. And then I think the Concordance is even scared of her. I don't know what I think. Or I don't think I can do this on my own. Okay. Is that is that where we drop off? Yes. For some reason, and I'm very disappointed in this, I am not... I almost want Adam to still be back in English class talking out of one of his clones and he's just saying all this out loud. <laughs> Maybe next time. I am very, very dis disturbed by the fact that quite a lot of the stuff that's I've changed relatively recently uh, in my folders and stuff is not updating and that is not making me very happy at all at all at all at all okay um a few illustrations to uh, if i could find them do 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 huh that's weird Have a few technical difficulties. Okay, I can't do this alone. Uh, you have the option, and that was uh, beautifully done. So you have the option of clearing a condition, and actually, how is the move written specifically? Uh, so if you did it in character, choose two. Choose two, recap page. Clear a condition, shift one of your labels up and one label down. Yes, uh, so I cleared angry because i don't think adam is super snippy about having done clones again <laughs> about the clo whole clone incident and then uh we are moving down danger yeah we're, we're, moving... we're, we're doing a fight why would we want danger to go up that's crazy <laughs> I don't... and then we're moving up mundane and okay. i'm doing it for the hinkiest of reasons the hinkiest of reasons Okay. Yes. Do, do I want to know, or is it better that I just find out as a surprise? Um, I don't know. Why don't Why not? Why don't you tell us what's going on and All ask right. us what you do? Uh, okay. All right. So, I don't think I can do this on my own, and 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 and. Sorry, I need to pull up a thing here, and it's. Do, do, do. I'm going to go back to masks. Villain sheet. I need the, I need the villain sheet for the Concord rogues gallery that apparently is a, assembling. If I can find it. Oh, okay. I apologize. I am running into a very serious and distractingly worrisome thing where it doesn't look like a bunch of my stuff is synced over to this computer and I don't know why that is and it's really kind of making it difficult for me to work uh, do, do, do. so the next shot on the next page is going to be um Concord, you, you you guys have all seen this shot in the comic book, but it's the shot from the villain is is sort of in the middle is in is in the background. Um, the hero is flying back towards the viewer, back you know sort of flying backwards and sort of upside down with this grimace of like open mouthed grimace of pain on his face as he's being blasted back towards the viewer. Um, so we have, that's Concord. Um, 
in his sunrise nebula kind of configuration uh the city of the uh, halcyon cities sort of distantly below um not not very close at all uh, probably a good couple hundred yards up um or you didn't clear afraid did you nope oh never well actually uh, <laughs> all right, so mild retcon. Um, what we actually see is uh, Concord falling out of what looks like sort of a horizontally held black, um, almost like a black hole accretion disk in, in midair. And he's falling out of that down towards the distant city. Um, so, and, and that's where the last little box is that I, I can't do this on my own as he's, fl as he's like basically falling, um, straight down towards, towards the city, his face, uh, rather than being wreathed in the, oh, I just got blasted. Look instead is stricken with a look of, shall we say panic or at least uh very, very aggressive concern. <laughs> Very, concern. Very, yeah, concern. <laughs> concern. All right, I'm going to have to go over to Google Drive and see if I can do it that way. I will go into here. Give me one second. I want to see if I can make it work this way. Oh, good. At least they're here. That's good, I guess. All right. And just during the narration, we also got a shot of uh, our various bad guys. We had a little Farlander picture, and we had our Sable Star. The identifying or the quotable quote from last session being, oh, she has the same outfit as me. That can't be good. <laughs> um, so Sable Star is sort of hovering in midair in like a sort of standard flight holding pose next to sort of gesturing over this black hole accretion disc kind of thing uh, as as Adam plummets out of it. And we see Link slash uh, Otto rocketing upward, sort of at an angle, coming from a, dip, from a different angle, sort of rocketing upward in, in kind of the middle distance. Uh, Adam, what do you do? Hmm. Concord. Sorry. Concord, what do you do? That is a good question. <laughs> I, I think this is the point where Adam is going to try and write himself, and he is going, you know, it, I, I mean, uh, uh, it, I guess the best thing for him to do right now is like retreat is a strong word, but re re regroup with a uh, link is probably the best course of action here. <laughs> regroup with link. Strategically it, fall back. To give you a sense of the height that you're working at, if this were parachutes, you'd really need to pull the string really soon. So that's about how far you are. So, there you go. All right. Uh, you say regroup with Link. How, how do you how do you propose doing that, or what do you do to do that? Um. Super long energy grapnel line. I, I was gonna say, couldn't I just sort of fl fly over to him quickly? You're afraid. But you're afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, uh, yeah, crap. You can't fly when you're afraid. Crap. I forgot about this part. <laughs> That's why I was there. I was going to have you getting punched and flying and something. And like, oh, wait a second. Uh, no, he's falling right now. That's why I have your face wreathed in panic. Oh, okay. I yeah. forgot these parts. <laughs> is that okay? That is perfectly uh, fine. Okay, here. okay. Uh, so. So we are falling. We're falling, and I, 
Ooh. So I, I, I think this is going to be slightly different setup here. Okay. And it's going to be uh, uh, less about that. And it's just like mentally uh, Adam's just like thinking towards like He's doing that thing where he's using his powers to tap into the team comms. Oh, okay. All right. And it's going to be like, Link, you remember what I told you what happens when I'm afraid? <laughs> Link? I'm going to come catch him. I yeah. got I got Otto who can fly and I got grapples. Like, yeah. basically, whatever whatever the timing might be, um, I'll, I'll come in and intercept him. Okay. Um... I would like you, this isn't, uh, catching him is not the problem. Catching him while Sable Star is deliberately screwing with you guys is a bit of an issue. So I would like you to uh, over. Can, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Yes, I can okay. hear you. Yeah. Okay. I, I obviously turned the mute on instead of off. Thank Whoops. you. I was going to say, um, you know, le less flying, more screaming. Yeah, less flying. More screaming. Uh, so because of Sable Star being right there and the fact that she's likely to screw with you as you're trying to close in on him, I'd like you to uh, unleash your powers, I think. Well, does not be a defend if she's uh, actively attacking him? He's not attacking you. She's she's not attacking him. She's attacking you to keep you from, from helping him. So she's an obstacle so she's... is what I'm saying. She, she just attacked him. He's falling. He says, I can't, I need, I can't, the thing that when I'm scared, help, and. You're, Doyce, you're still totally breaking up on me, man. Okay. I'm sorry. Hang on for a second. You, you, Hang on. Yeah, you are starting to break up on me as well. All right, let me try, we'll take this thing, and we're going to take this channel, and we're going to go, whoop, save the changes, Let's see if that gets any better. Does that get any better? Uh, yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay, all right. We move down to eight bits and we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. So to clarify, um, she's not attacking. You're not, a, you're not defending. I don't think you're, atta I don't think you're defending Adam because she's not attacking Adam at this point in time, seeing you moving to assist. She's going to be screwing with you to keep you from helping him fall to his death. So she's oh. an obstacle that you're overcoming. Does that make sense? Uh, it does. It just means this role is going to really suck. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you had a lot of. You guys both had a lot of really good roles, so I think it's. I think it's time for a role, and you still get an eight. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so we are unleashing our powers. Do do do, and when you unleash your powers. To overcome an obstacle, oh. reshape your environment, or extend your senses. Roll freak on a hit. You do it. Seven to nine. Mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. So, you would you prefer a condition, or? Well, this is why I'm not sure. Like, unleash your powers really made sense to me because, like, just catching him and settling him down is by definition temporary anyway. So, like, there's no, like, what's the risk? Uh, well, I, I I do have a I do have an idea for that. You well, okay. My short answer would be you have stopped him from falling, but you actually haven't saved him from like you haven't necessarily solved the problem of him falling to his death at this point. Um, but let me hear what Mike has to say. Oh, yeah, 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 it seems like one of those things where he's got like one arm protecting himself and the other arm holding Adam below him. So, yeah, sounds like a really untenable position. Yeah, you've so essentially in this case, what you're doing is you've 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 you rock it up there, you and Otto uh, rock it up there and uh, snag him, probably at least in combination somewhat with sort of an extended Concord energy arm kind of a thing and kind of sling him closer. But at the same time. Uh, Sable. Well, as I can, I've got one thing to say to Adam real quick. Then, okay. It's, it's okay. Unstable or temporary though it may be, I'm like, yeah, I heard you call it, and you remember what I said. When you fall, I'll be here to catch you. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Give me just one second here, and I'm going to do something with that. I ship it. <laughs> are you hearing are you hearing my daughter yes. in the background uh it's so funny 
All right. It's literally, I want for the record, that is the first time I have ever heard her say that about anything. Um, <laughs> I actually didn't hear it. Sorry. She, she came into this room just so she can shout, I ship it. I ship it. Um, anyway. That, that ship is not leaving the harbor. That, that ship is not leaving. <laughs> okay. Um, so you grab him. We get this name though. Pull him together and say the thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll be there to catch you. And I am going to say, Link, roll comfort or support. In the midst of a fight, in the midst of everything else going on, Ghost Girl, you can hear the stuff that Concord says over what he thinks of as the radio channel for the team, you are getting, incidentally. So you hear him just out of nowhere, whatever, wherever it is you happen to be right now. It's the middle of the day, right around lunchtime. And you hear him say, Link, you remember what happens, what, what happens when I'm scared? Um... So we're going to get to you in a second. And comforter support. Snowmari. <laughs> That's great. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that comforter support roll. So when you comforter support someone, roll mundane. On a hit, they hear you. They can mark potential clear condition or shift labels if they, if they open up to you. On a 10 plus, you can also add team to the pool or clear a condition yourself. I got to remember to put a point in the pool. Um, I'm, uh, I'm clearing condition. Also, um, I, I just hit five potential because I get potential when I cover to support uh, a love. Nice. Very nice. Good job. That's a, that, is, that is a fruitful. And we're going to deal one to me. And Adam, what are you doing? Uh, I am going to. If you don't clear uncheck. afraid, I don't even know you. Yeah, I'm going to clear afraid. Okay. And then I think well, this wait. is also. Well, wait. You can't clear afraid unless you open up. So I need to yes. see what the open up looks like. Yes, and I think, you know, uh, I think this is that one part where he's like, you know, you know, once, once uh, uh, Leo says that, Adam kind of gives him that nod, and it's just like, you know, you know, he, he, it's that knowing nod between the two of them that the shippers will latch on to. And, uh, <laughs> I, and I think that's when Adam, like, you know, stumbly, like, takes his own, you know, takes to his own flight as soon as, you know, after a little bit of stumbling. And he's like, you know, you know, he, you know, uh, I don't know if he says anything about that, though. It's just like, you know. There's that, you know, there's that look. The bro, the bro it's, nod. The bro it's, nod. It's, it's the unspoken understanding between men. There, yep. There's a scene uh, in the uh, uh, the Young Justice thing that the guy that the that the creator of the game ran with those guys, where Robin, who's been mad at uh, Superboy the whole way through, after something is revealed that I'm not going to talk about, um, comes by him. And he says, all he does is he stops for a second. They don't even look at each other. He's like standing, looking past him kind of and says, I'm sorry. And he, he stops. He says, I'm sorry. And they decide whether or not it's a uh, cover support. And he rolls and he gets it. And he keeps walking. And after Robin's like four or five steps away, past him, with his back to him, Connor quietly, without looking at him, says, thanks. Just th just says his thanks. And they're like, does that count as does that count as opening up? And they're like, are you kidding? For Connor? Yes, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, don't, it doesn't have to be big. Um, Link, are you okay with that? Is that is that yeah. opening up enough? Okay. So no, I would say just oh, seeing no. him fly is enough. But, yeah. <laughs> that's great. I, you know, I, you I, made I, you know you made the connection there. Yeah, that's really good. And I also think that um, this is the best time for me to use my mask power. Okay, what's, oh my God, did you move up your own mundane so you could flip it? That might have been the oh, thing. Oh, you <laughs> bastard. Okay, hey, hang, on well, for, hang on for just a second because something else happens. 
because we haven't quite got to the eight part of the seven and nine result. All right, so you the uh, you intercept and you're flying. You you have this momentary conversation thing, and you take about just this first wobbling flight away, and the both of you at the angle that you're at suddenly just this gut wrenching nausea almost like actually you you actually hear auto over comms go oh god i'm gonna hurl um you can't even do that <laughs> and you guys both because of the angle that you're going and stuff rocket into the sky like just at, literally at terminal velocity and then some um rocket straight up into the sky um Adam, what do you do? Um, I think it, um, it appears gravity in at least a localized area has been flipped. And as a result, you are essentially doing the same thing as flying really hard, hard at the ground, except you're flying up. Okay. Then I think, uh, that, um, you know, uh, Adam's going to get his game face on, you know, switch back over to letting the concordance run the show for a bit. And it's going to be like not flipping the gravity back, but just orienting ourselves so that, no, this is normal. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I cannot think of you getting your game face on without thinking of Steven Universe looking stern behind his shield. Like, oh, oh, Steven's serious now. Um, it's serious, Steven. Um, when you flip, so you're basically like what would be upside down to the planet, you see that the gravity reversal apparently extends all the way down to the ground. So down below you in the city, uh, cars and a, a, a couple of people are flying up, are, are falling up away from away from the ground uh where you're at link how do you how do you deal with this gravity flip uh well if we're not combined with auto already we'll link up yo you were uh, yeah all of you guys were because auto's flying i'm assuming if you're flying auto's probably part of the equation already oh yeah uh well there, there will be times where i'll when i'll detach and like grapple him to provide leverage and swing around but oh yeah. sure 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 oh, okay so that's good um do we have people like in any danger of being like sucked into the sky or anything like that? Or is it just starting to. Um, start to... Yeah. Uh, 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 both your scanners and auto scanners are picking up uh, civilians that are apparently in this. You would guess about a. 30 meter column of reversed gravity that extended down hits a street. So you got a couple of pedestrians, a couple of cars that are flying up. Um, and at some point in time, you would assume, or, well, they're either going to hit, they're either going to lose Atmo or they're going to start falling back down again. They're, no in, they're in no immediate danger, but something's going to change and they're going to suddenly become endangered. So Projectiles in the wrong direction. Yeah, right now they're just falling and the falling won't kill them. But at some point in time, it, the results of that falling will kill them. All right. I only have a finite number of grapples. So if Adam can't deal with this situation, I'm going to have to. So I'm going to look over at him real quick. Be like, hey, is this you or is this me? If you fly. I, I mean, they're not immediately. If you hold still, they'll come to you, assuming the gravity stays flipped for that long. If you fly toward the ground, which would be up to you, um, you can intercept them more quickly. Um, how do you answer, Adam? Um, at Adam usually lets Link take on the villains because that seems like, you know, the, that seems like the dynamic they have. But at the same point, I think the concordance is going to be pushing Adam to take on Sable Star. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think... Uh, um, Plus, you did just you did just flip your what did you flip your mundane with? Um, 
I have to flip it with my uh, uh, chosen stat, which is Savior. Oh, so that's weird. I mean, Savior sort of, def, def, you know, or you know, if you're if you're moving to, uh, if you're moving to protect them, you could be protecting the people. You be, could be using Savior to cover Link while he goes. I mean, I, you, I'm not saying that that's how you have to do it, but if that's how the concordance manifests itself, it's really about you protecting something. Um, so how do you see the concordance? I, I agree that the concordance would probably go after Sable Star, or that would no, be I think gut instinct. Th I think including, not just gravity is flipped here, but I think the dynamic needs to flip here. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like yeah, that. Thematic pairing. <laughs> so... I think that uh, uh, Adam's going to let Link know, you know, get, you know, help them out. I've got her. I'm dealing with the crazy space lady. I'm on it. Yeah. Nice. Um, nice. The, if, if there's a lot of people and there's a few cars, I'm going to try to grapple the people onto the cars and just kind of have that as a, a way to get to everyone quickly. Yeah, if you... I'll be flying around and, and work on that. Yeah, if you fly around, use your, if you fly down into sort of the following things uh you can the grapples will you can pull them at least close enough um i don't know if you've got enough enough gas in the tank to then keep like three cars plus pedestrians from falling if the gravity flips uh but you can certainly slow them down pretty pretty hard uh we'll burn that bridge when we come to it <laughs> uh ghost girl you have heard at least what adam has said a couple times in here i'll take her you you rescue them i can't do this you know you are you, you know what happens when i'm scared um that kind of thing you're picking up half of the phone conversation basically you're picking up concord's half uh what do you do wherever you are where are you let's ask that first where are you so remind me when this is this is. I, I mean, it's like it's it's the afternoon after. This would be the early afternoon, the day immediately following the uh, uh, flying Concord. Oh, it was because you had your you, you had the meeting at the Gales, so it's right after the Gales thing. Did you meet? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm I, I'm I'm two game sessions back. This would be after you met the coffee house guy. In the morning, so it's so the morning that you met the uh, former sword wielding dude who now runs the coffee house, right? And that was early in the morning before school would have started for everybody else. And now it's about call it five hours later, twelve thirty, one o'clock in the afternoon of that same day. Harry went off to school. You did whatever you did. Uh, so the question is, where are you, and what do you do? That makes sense. Um, yes, yes. Um, I'm just I'm looking at my notes here from then, and I believe that my comment at the time was that um, I was pondering what Lucius said and was planning on taking action to clear a condition and prove him wrong. Oh, right. So uh. we might end up going into a bit of a flashback here. Also. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to share that Lincoln, Link and Concord have fan art. Because <laughs> that's that literally is what my daughter's doing in the other room right there is that picture. Nice. Oh, beautiful. So there you go. You guys, you guys. Have, my ship has sailed. You guys. Congrats, <laughs> Bill. You guys, you guys have your first fan art. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Ship it. No, you know, you know, I'm more impressed that she did it as fast as she did. Anyway. Um, yeah, but has she started the Tumblr blog for it yet? No, not yet, <laughs> not yet. And don't give her those ideas. She does have a Tumblr blog. It's called Never Just Whelmed. Um. Anyway, okay. yeah, another yet another young justice shout out. Shout out. Um. All right. So. You're rocketing down towards the civilians and the cars. Cables flying out uh, in all directions. Uh, and Otto going, as much as I would love to pick up 
three or four really awesome looking cars, boss. I don't know if I can actually pick up three or four really awesome looking cars, boss. Um, Concord is kind of doing a Yui right in the middle of the air and heading straight back up towards Sable Star, who, swear to God, is smiling about this. And we cut to Ghost Girl. Okay, so... Four, four hours earlier. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to do that after the fight no, scene. We'll do a flash. Well, uh, well, what do you do? You think flashback right now or flashback to? Let me let me put it this way. Think about what you were planning on doing to prove him wrong. Mm-hmm. And also clear condition. It's been four hours. Where would so, I be? So without us knowing what the flashback does, where are you probably at this point in time? Okay, let me uh, recall. Oh, shoot. I packed all those away when we cleaned the house. Um, <laughs> all your notes? <laughs> no, the, the, you know, the the moves thing. Here oh, the moves thing? Okay. Oh, clearing um, the conditions I... of what you need to do. Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Um, this will be the, the episode where everybody does a lot of stuff to try to clear their damn conditions. Yeah, I think it's... it's uh... um i i am i am looking to clear insecure which is take a foolhardy action without talking to your team okay brit all around so i want you to think about what what kind of foolhardy action you would take all right i know what i'm doing okay if you know what you're doing then where are you then four or five hours later and if the answer is currently incarcerated with an age with an ages like in an ages swat van um, you know, maybe we'll come back to you. Um, but you know, um, no, no, I, 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 I should be, uh, functional. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Okay. But where, 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 where did you, I, when you first heard them, where were you? Um, I was down in, uh, back in the graveyard, back in the cemetery. Back. No, actually, I was I was down by Crazy Guy's house. On the oh, point. the um, yeah. uh, ghost hearts. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we see her down down in the point near Ghost Hearts place. In it or near it? Uh, well, four hours. Mm-hmm. I'm out of there. Okay. All right. At that coffee shop that I scared everybody out, but yeah. Yeah, sure. And maybe looking back at it. Um, broodingly and yeah. you hear Concord's part of the conversation what do you do do I know where they are can I can I locate them you know the way they where they are the way uh, a compass knows where north is okay so yeah kind of, you know where you need to direction you need to go if you're in shadow, although I don't know that you'd really want to go through a shadow this close to Ghost Hearts, but uh, I mean, you can well, you can fly. It is a thing you can do. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so that's that's an option too. But yeah, I mean, you you definitely when you think about it, when you give it any serious any serious thought, and Adam's easier than Link right now just because of what Adam's doing. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I can, I mean, I can sense that they're above ground because of course that, that whole pointing thing would give me altitude mm-hmm. as well as sure. direction. So and they're above the city. Um, so that makes it relatively simple. Yeah. So, so I will probably fly rather than, than shadow walk. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's really like you're in the middle of a coffee shop and it turns into sort of like a, something between a dust devil and a poltergeist leaving the, leaving the place in a hurry. Or just flash coming into and out of every single room on the flash all the time. Um, <laughs> seriously, people buy iPads. <laughs> I just don't understand that at all. Um, all right. So, yeah, you, you're going at what would, you know, sort of your top speed, which isn't especially fast, but not especially slow. You can see kind of stuff happening in the sky. It's probably about... Mm, I'm going to say about a mile away, but you can see like the small forms of apparently cars flying into the air. You've the specks of some people that are falling, some that are flying. 
Um, any other, I mean, you don't Do see I... a... Go ahead. Or if I actually have a phone now. Mm. Talked about it, but I don't know that we ever actually determined that, that the boys got one for me that I could take with me. Not a lot of... Up. Not a lot of time has, has passed. I don't know that right. we've had a chance to figure I don't think out. I do. Okay. Um, so I will I will get there as fast as I can then. I mean, a, an, a, a Q phone would have a reasonably good chance to just be able to survive you by virtue of its engineering. It's just generally warded against weird stuff. Q phones are not the best technology, but they're probably the most durable phone tech out there. Um, there, there's nothing sexy about a Q phone. No, there isn't. But you know, they're yeah, they're but they're you know they're they're like a like a round waterproof Bluetooth speaker. It, but they're you're on mute. You know whether it's you know al alien energies you know crackling in a coruscating fashion or strange phantasmic um, ectoplasm flying through the air, the Q phone will get you through. <laughs> yeah. And the reception is remarkable. You have right. my word on it. You've got my word on it. Um, so, yeah, that would be a great place to start with her, certainly. Um, but we don't have time for that. Yeah, we don't have time for that. All right. So I will I will head as fast as I can towards the disturbance in the sky. Right. Um, I don't believe I have anything that will allow me to communicate that direction. Uh, you have you. I mean, with your spooky. Well, but hours, I mean, oh, you are spooky, and you do have, yeah. you know, stuff. It would be overcoming an obstacle, probably, since it's not something you've ever really, it's ever really occurred to you to do. Mm -hmm. But you could certainly try. Okay. What's the so worst thing happen? Will... You roll a three and psychically bombard the entire city with. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I will try and uh, focus on the deep shadow of. Uh, well, I hate to say this, Link's armpit. <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, because. It's dark inside his armor, in theory. Yeah. Right. That's 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 kind of what I mean. But yeah. yeah. Not, you mean you're not going to just magically appear behind a car that was getting that was floating upwards and that Link is like whipping out of the way? Yeah. Well, if you are you trying to communicate or get there? I'm going to communicate. Okay. There's lots of. Yeah. There's not a lot. I mean, I I, I don't feel like falling cars deep shadow no. of falling cars is probably the best move right now. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I I have I have thoughts on this. Uh, so go I'm ahead. I'm not sure that Charlotte though would want to appear in the dark, you know, in the shadowy parts of uh, Link's armor. That would be no. Rather... I'm con. I said I'm concentrating on the shadow inside of Link's armor to communicate with him because right. that's my medium. Right. Uh -huh. So uh, do me a favor. Give me a. You want a freak roll? We're gonna. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna unleash our powers here to overcome an obstacle, which is the distance and lack of communication tools. Okay. So. Um, I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm on a minus two. That's okay. I'll put that in. It's, you don't need you know you don't need to because it's going to calculate. Uh, it should already. Oh, it does. Yeah, it should okay. already do it with. If you have a, if you have a condition that gives you a penalty, the condition will be calculated. Okay. What? How is that even possible? What is your freak at? Is it maxed out at a three? Margie, I have a reaction image for you in Roll Twenty Chat. Um, so, so it didn't take the it didn't take the mod. <laughs> Concerned. Um, oh, it's Margie. That's I your superior. Oh, you, yeah, you don't roll superior. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, okay, okay, okay. On. Freak me. Well. I like that role. I know you do. Freak, <laughs> freak me anyway. My freak is actually two points higher than my superior. So if you take my freak minus two, it's mm -hmm. the same as my superior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Let, let's see the roll. Got to touch those dice again. Let's 
Really? That is. But you can for say, harassing me. That seems. Her freak is the same as her superior. Oh, mind. because because of the penalties, and she rolls a freaking six and a five again. Oh my god. Yeah, because you deserve it. I apparently I do. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to add to that except for agreeing with you. All right. So that's, you. That's what you get for making the ghost re-roll. All right. It turns out that there are. You had never really thought of it this way, but there are a lot of dark and shadowy corners in Link's mind that make it very easy to contact him. Um, <laughs> I don't so know if I want to be, in, be not, there anymore than I want to be in his armpit. They're not. It's not. It's not. It's not shadow shadow, but it is symbolically quite shadowy. Um, what do you tell him? What do you? What do you do? Um, I'll just quietly say. Uh, Link, Link, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm however far out I think I am. What do you need me to do? Get here faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's actually a pretty uh, good solution to that, and I'll let, I'll let, I'll let this, the role kind of slide forward on this one. I mean, when you think faster, who do you think of? Uh, our friend, the speedster. Yeah, so Does, you, you, but he doesn't have dark corners in his mind. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I... he, he has testosterone-filled corners of his mind. Catherine, I need you to leap to Harry's defense and and explain that all teenagers have dark corners. Yeah, just teenagers. <laughs> have you read teenage your poetry <laughs> we're nothing right. we're nothing but dark corners <laughs> we are well, I, we are not all the kids wanting to die at the end of the band show we are nothing but non non euclidean okay non but that's going to fall angst. down on the field anyway we're not bitter are we i'm so bitter <laughs> okay so so i will find a dark corner of harry's feel of harry's mind yes and say harry oh, okay and say very softly uh we we need you here uh, can i does you... harry fly no harry doesn't fly but he moves really fast he's he's not going to be necessarily able to do stuff in the sky but never count the speedster out um okay so as Aegis will frequently caution you, never count the speeds around. They're both high, they're all highly dangerous and easily what was it? Indoctrinated? I like that. Um And can always get in your, your PDSA loop. I'm going to I am going to say that Harry or not Harry, but Charlotte, because she's so into the modern day, probably has a pretty has has actually okay. To back up, my kids have an obsession with maps. It doesn't matter okay. what the thing is for, but they love having a map of a place. They don't love it forever. They look at it for a while and then they kind of discard the thing. But having gone to Disney World, I am re I am constantly bombarded by the fact that my kids love to have a bloody map of whatever park they run into, walk into, because they love to see how it's laid out. They love to see the names of the various parts. I imagine Charlotte pouring over every chintzy weird like touristy city map. touristy city map of halcyon city i i, I but, you saw the image i had of the 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 cemetery map yeah the cartoonier the better honestly uh and memorizing all the various like uh uh, uh neighborhood names right and everything mm -hmm. that's why you knew the peak or the point rather um, so you can probably easily look around and tell him what neighborhood to get to. And okay. honest, honestly, there's lots of, uh, currently aerial landmarks to tell him where to go once he gets close. Okay. So, okay, so, so Harry, we need you. There's, uh, civilians at risk in the air just above point X. And it's actually, hmm. This was the world's biggest ball of twine. <laughs> it's it's like the equivalent of like lower downtown or or upper downtown or east downtown or something. 
It's it's near up it's near it's, yeah, it's, it's up down. Ashen nineteenth. Ashen nineteenth. Okay. Harry, you're in the middle of class. Jason's not there. <laughs> On I, the hospital, as far as I know. Yeah, did he have? What did we do? Did we ship him off to the hospital? Did we wake him up? What happened? I think last we saw, he was he was uh, he did was we, taken off in the ambulance, wasn't he? I can't remember what exactly. Whether I'll look it up. I yeah. know um, we we couldn't let the ambulance come because we started making jokes about how the uh, building keeps on blowing up every time a quill gets taken to the hospital. Right. Uh, yeah. I think, I feel like the paramedics never got in there because you guys managed to wake him up somehow. Uh, uh, yes. Remember no, they came in, they, they came in, but uh, they did not take you away because you the info dump what he knows about Alicia's plans. Um, Jason says, okay, we got to go to Pennsylvania, and everybody goes off to school. Right. And, and that was when, actually, Adam discovered that he had been saying all of his dialogue aloud in, <laughs> in lit class. Right. So, yeah, Jason's basically been under enforced at least, I don't care if you sleep, but you have to be in your, in your, you have to be at least pretending to get bed rest and probably doing research and stuff like that for probably like the last four hours or something like that, planning, like... His trip to Pennsylvania. Mugging everybody as they get out of school to take them to Pennsylvania. Road trip. Um, we know what car we're taking. <laughs> I have the coolest hover disc. Um, it, it, it seats four. Otto is personally offended. Um, <laughs> wouldn't use that thing for a Frisbee. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so Harry, what do you do? Uh, you're, you're in class. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, what, what class is it? Is it, is it chemist? No, no. What chemistry right after was earlier? Right after lunch. We haven't gotten, uh, we haven't gotten into like what classes are happening over at the, uh, at the private school. Uh, oh, they're, they're just like the, the, the classes at the public school and they've got better materials. He's he's a senior. It's the class right after lunch. So. And today is a Tuesday. Should, is it first semester or second it's, semester? It's a month. It, that it's makes a, a big difference. It's a Monday. Is it Monday? And it's the first semester. Catherine, you can just steal from your own curricula. That's totally what we did with Adam last last week. I just I just stole Kaylee's like daily schedule. Well, that would be banned. Okay, so not banned for you. What is no? Uh, this is an important question that we need to answer. What is Harry's chosen extracurricular, like midday, middle of school extracurricular, or not extracurricular? You know, yeah, not extracurricular. Uh, Track. Not 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 extra. No, sorry. elective. Sorry. Elective. Elective. What's Harry's elective? He's, he's taking Chinese. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Never again. It could be a foreign language. Oh, yeah. I can't. Harry, Harry singing is interesting to me. What what are what are Harry's senior year electives? Woodshop. No. Uh. I like woodshop. Auto shop. I want to see Harry no. like, like making lamps. You, you know why that became a thing back in the 40s? Like it's such a big thing for like electric shop or, or just shop to have kids make lamps. Because electricity was becoming more and more common and uh, people, you know. Uh, people needed lamps. Well, they didn't. The families frequently didn't have them. Right. So they taught the kids how to make them because then they could take the lamp back and you had something to do with the freaking plug that they just wired into your house. Anyway. Practical. Practical. Did you know that in 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 parts of Africa, the the equivalent of woodshop, they they learn how to make the 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 tourist woodworking or the copper bracelets, depending upon where you are. Oh boy. So that everybody learns how to make the 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 gazelle, you know. Uh, uh, interesting. Sure. Kind of depressing, I think. Almost a little depressing. Um. 
Come on, come on, Harry. What's your what's your uh, what's your elective? Art. Uh. Ooh, art. He's a little embarrassed to admit this, but. Home ec? Social dance. Social. That's awesome. He needed another PE I mean... class for some reason, and. Uh, well, yeah, you 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 probably don't do like the regular PE stuff very often because it's like. There's probably rules about that, man. They know who you are. They probably have rules when, about that. When Harry cuts a rug, he literally cuts a rug. Oh my God! Can you imagine There's that? Smoke involved no, no. and everything. You can't do track. They don't really want you to do football or basketball or anything like that. You're not interested in wrestling. They're like, listen, you need to get the PE credits. We've had people who've had this problem in the past. This is the option that we have. And you find yourself enrolled in social dance because you're not allowed to take anything else. <laughs> Let's face it. Harry would kill a kid in dodgeball. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's Harry on one side and all the other kids on the other. Everybody's out. Anyway, um, social dance. I love it. So you're in social dance and you get this like psychic thing from Ghost Girl. What do you do? You're currently practicing the rumba. Rumba. Uh, Which probably uh... has a terribly embarrassing nickname. That your PE teacher continually reminds people of. Yes. So, 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 you know, this. What's that? Room for Jesus. Okay. The word. Oh, right. That. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's your partner? Uh, one of the girls from local super groups oh really i must know more <laughs> oh you sound just like my mom no i, I... <laughs> yes gm grandmother or I... grand it's like who Great who'd you have in your extracurricular oh one of the girls from the local super groups really who which group? Vinny. Is she a flyer? That's the first thing your mom asks every single time. <laughs> is she a flyer? Uh, actually, she is because she also couldn't do any of the normal PE classes. And the teacher thought it'd be a good fit for someone who is so, I quote, her feet. Nice. Nice. <laughs> wow. They don't even really realize it's a pawn. They just say it. Um, uh, 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 I need a name for this person. Somebody help me. Susie Durkins. No, a super's name for her. Oh. Uh, Last dance. No. No. That is horrible. It's just <laughs> terrible. Uh, you love you, Elsa. Skyhawk. Skyhawk. Okay, I can I can work with that. Let's go with Skylark. That sounds a little bit more girly. It's more girly. I yeah, it's, it's you know, she's not a star. She gets she gets a cheesy name. Unless she, well, okay, I can go with Skyhawk if she's the kind of person who would absolutely hate dance class. Hey, hey, maybe they have a family who is picking all of their name stuff for them too, so they didn't have a choice so, in so that. So just just tell me, who who is who is who is this girl channeling? Michelle Rodriguez or <laughs> or uh like uh I, the person in my head is Adam Eve from uh from the Invincible comics, but so is she more a wispy flyer or more like an Apache attack helicopter flyer. Oh, definitely more the latter. Okay. She is not happy about being in this class, calling it too girly. <laughs> Will you just shut up, stand still, and let me lead, Gail? <laughs> exactly. For God's sakes. If you step on my toes one more time, I'm going to break all of yours. Okay. So... What, so now we have the setting. <laughs> do, do you? Yeah, sorry. Do you make any? Uh, do you make any excuses? What do you do? How do you get out of here? 
This is a bit of a segue from the combat, but I find this fascinating and really important stuff that we need to know. <laughs> Very Actually, important. of all the people in the class, she would probably understand if you said, uh, I'm getting a signal on my comms. I need to go. Cover, cover for, for me. me. Uh, ha! Cover for me. You start I to, so owe you. You start to go, and you find her fist kind of wadded into front of your shirt. She's like, you're going to owe me. She also has us. She's also on the strength charts. So uh, it's just a, basically a flying brick. I like this. Um, uh, a suggested uh, inspiration is in the roll 20 chat as well. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. That's like freaking Christmas for me most of the time here. I swear to God. Uh, I've missed some links. I'm going to have to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> the A10 Thunderbolt. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I actually like Beautiful. A. I actually like A10 as a name. Sounds yes. Good. What are you doing here, Twinkle Toes? Oh my God, so good. And and of course her last her her real name um, is is Fairchild. I think the prize has to go to Catherine's. What you know, you rich bastard meme though. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ditch Skyhawk or Skylark in favor of A10 and let. Let people just figure. don't call her Warthog because <laughs> <laughs> entire galaxy is hurting too. A teenage Michelle Rodriguez. I am I am there for this content. Um, all right, so Harry does that, nods, uh, and is a paper strewn vapor trail leading out of the school, and. We're back. We're eventually going to... No, you know what? I need to figure out how we're going to at least call Jason. Um, we're letting him recover. We're letting him recover? Yeah, but I... Okay, we'll get to him. Dave, I'll get to you in a second. I swear to God. I know. I know. Because we had one session where you literally didn't do anything the entire session because you were hurt. I don't want to do it again. That's not fair. <laughs> He, he's probably watching the TV and we're on the news. <laughs> That's very simple. Yeah, it's really straightforward. It's like uh, breaking news over the uh, – I need a name of this neighborhood. But um, breaking news over um, – I don't know. It's near Halcyon and High. Just be like, yeah. We're, yeah, we're I mean – and, and, and the, the, the skip in time here is merely you guys kind of luring her away from the from the school as much as you could. And uh, the whole portal thing, uh, Adam, was you, you tried to do something and you found yourself stepping into a – basically, she dropped a black hole right in front of you and you stepped into it and found yourself falling out of it at the other end, like way up in the sky with her next to it. Um, so, I completely yeah. completely understand. Yep. So we kind of skipped to getting you guys away from – getting her away from the school. Um, Farlander is probably still back there someplace, but he's also probably nursing a – nova sized hangover right now so and and thinking about leaving the the galaxy anyway yeah it's the, there are other systems there are other there are other key gnomes um right right so back to it i think adam as you are coming toward Sable Star. She is... She kind of almost reaches into the space of her dress or her arm kind of and pulls out a blade-shaped star field kind of... I mean, it looks like a sword except it's basically the same kind of non-material as her clothing so it's like starlight formed into a weapon kind of thing and with this this kind of smirk kind of grin kind of like yes look on her face and um she pulls it out and she does the whole anime thing she's like she pulls it out and the, and the draw is the same as the slash now you're still 40 or 50 meters away but it's got that, again, with the anime thing, it's got that whole, like, the slash carries forward in that, like, sort of crescent-shaped, you know... Space and distance are no problem. For yeah, us. it's just, it's, it's, it's this rift in 
space time coming straight at you this this rip this thing uh what do you do it's also not coincidentally um if you draw a straight line from her to you to behind you going to do massive damage to like the lower downtown business district uh or well if you're near if we're near the public i take that back if we're near the public healthy and high we're probably near, it's uh so it's going to be small businesses and like residential areas mostly down there um okay. i think uh adam is just going to go full steven universe here and pop out a big shield big enough to block this thing okay big that, enough to block this in thing. that case we're definitely going to be rolling savior so why don't you go ahead and do that we'll see I how that goes that. savior is going to be defend because we are defending the city from the random chaos of sable star and you just flipped defend with uh mundane didn't yes. you? yes and because this is my first danger. roll of this session oh you get your plus one forward this i is get your first my plus one forward this please. is your first roll yeah uh, i like that sword by the way so you get it is that yeah, no i i get a nine a nine with the math Oh, yeah. with the additional thing? Nice, nice. That that is everything. So, yeah, the only way <laughs> we've got team in the pool, but I mean, we could theoretically push that up to a ten, but I'm kind of fine with it being a nine. Um, I'm not sure if Link can help right now because he's sort of doing something else. But if you can think of a good way, cool way to do that, um, or. or because you guys are kind of going, you're sort of flying in opposite directions and stuff. So I think it's kind of just you. I, I feel like I'm kind of busy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's good too. Uh, seven and nine, it costs you. You can expose yourself to danger, or escalate the situation. Uh, I think that this is probably a good chance to escalate the situation. <coughs> okay. And this might be one of those things where, like, you know, Adam's like straining with the shield and everything, holding it back, mm -hmm. and it's just like. You know, we're 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 going to do that whole thing where we like talk to the you know talk to the villain where it's just like you know you know why are you even doing this like you know mm -hmm. uh, you know you hold on you you look just like me shouldn't you be trying to help everybody oh my god how little you know um <laughs> oh I like the sword I uh, love the sword that's lovely. Um. <laughs> All right. Take okay. Also, Adam, take add. You can either add team. You can choose one from add team to the pool. Take influence over someone you protect, or wait for it. Clear clear a condition. Wait, would this make you conditionless for like the first time in seven sessions? <laughs> no, I I have no condition right now. Oh wow. That's crazy. Wait, I thought you were still afraid. Oh, wait, no. You no, Link cleared, got rid of that. that. Yeah, Link got you. Wow, am, am I the only one conditioned up? At this yeah. point, yeah. I think so. Conditioned, as it were? Possibly. Jason might have one floating around. Uh, I've got, I still, oh, God, I'm still insecure. Hmm. Yeah, I can't imagine how that happened. <laughs> Go fig. Wait, doesn't Harry have one? Maybe. He, he talked to his dad. It seems like he's got to have a condition up to that. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Uh, I think it's dad who has the condition. But he, yeah. he rolled. I actually, don't. I take that back. I think he rolled. God, that is a really. I love yeah, he rolled resist, remember? Yeah, he resisted. Then, okay. Then we got pwned by uh, the other guy. Right, the sword the sword wielder. And he just kind of rolled with that. Um, okay, so. Or, I can't think of anything interesting right now, so let's just go with add team to the pool. Okay, add team to the pool. It sounds good. Um, okay, so uh, escalating the situation. So the thing, this, this, this rift, it's. I mean, the sword is very cool looking, but it's really more star stuff kind of a thing. Although I do kind of, man, I like that. The way it looks in the black background, that's pretty hot. Um, <laughs> I, it really is. I like that. I'm going gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to screenshot that. That's really cool. Um, I love really like vague, sketchy art. It's just, it makes me so happy. Um, 
anyway, so that comes kind of down and it impacts with your sword or your shield and it, it interacts in a really weird. Now the shield kind of splits right down the middle almost. It, it totally absorbs it, but the, the energy signatures of the shield kind of fly off in either direction off to the side, kind of spinning. Um, and you kind of rock back on your heels a little bit and kind of fly back a, a few feet. And, and the energy of the sword and the energy of the shield like start to kind of almost orbit one another like a neutron uh, sorry electron proton neutron kind of weird and it, they're spinning up and they're at the same time fly like flying away not quickly but they're kind of flying away to either side from this impact so it's like they're, they're they're just like the whole impact of them spun them off and they're starting to spin faster and faster twisting up like that the wind's building up kind of around this thing and adam shouts like what did you say like what why are you doing this or, or yeah yeah why are you doing this you look like just just like me shouldn't you be trying to help people she she stares at you completely just like just blank oh almost dumbfounded and then she just, she just starts laughing. Um, like it's, like it's, uh, and it's not. Did I literally just say the funniest thing she's ever heard? No, it's more like that, that 19 year old, seven, 17 to 19 year old where you've got like the the 12 year old trying to scold you for something and it's just so ridiculous because of how little they know and how much you know kind of thing except scaled up cosmically speaking um and uh, set uh what does she say If I wondered how a Concord agent had gotten out here and hadn't completely brought the planet under its heel, I understand everything now because I understand you don't understand anything. This is, you are utterly, utterly out of your depth, little boy. I am the Void Collective, and we are nothing alike. Um, or not the Void Collective. I'm Void Collective, and we are nothing alike. And she's actually going, I think. Let me just look at this real quick before I try to frame it up here. You are utterly outclassed in this situation you and your little <laughs> you you've you've teamed up with locals i mean this is this is sad i almost want to tell other the other the rest i almost want to go back and tell the rest of the concordance what you're doing to them this is it's really so sad just step out of the way let me be about my business and stop embarrassing yourself. And she's going to actually provoke you to. Oh, she can... well, she's she's trying to provoke you. She doesn't have the ability to actually make that role. Is she trying to tell me how it is? She's trying to tell you how it is. So no. she's going to she's she's shoving down. She's she's actually going to mess with the two things that you flip. She's going to shove down your, your superior is it not superior savior and shove up your mundane because you're completely out of your depth and you're not, you're not true Concord. Um, you're just, you're just a, a poor little local who happened to, who happened to small swallow the wrong set of magic beans. You're a mistake. You're a mistake. You are an untrained mistake. Exactly. Harsh. Harsh. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to roll that. You're going to have to resist that? We're going to have to resist that. 
And so when it, what is the resist? Can you read the resisting? Because I can't pull it up real easy right now. Oh, yeah. It is um, when you try to resist. Uh, when you reject someone's influence, roll. Just roll. Hit, Just roll. Yeah. On a hit, you are successful and hold your hold to yourself and tune them out. And I, I wanted like to say it. I had something, but I don't think I do. For for resisting that kind of stuff, you had a plus one yeah. four, but you just burned it. Yeah, and I don't think this is a game phase quite yet. Probably not. So, you just yeah, roll. Yeah. Let's see what happens. How hard does this hit you? Because it does. I mean, it isn't like you've never had these doubts. Oh. On the other hand, I like that. Concord rolls something. Yeah. That is really something. All right. I want you to think about what this looks like when you resist. Because what do you, so when, if you succeed, what do you, what are you supposed to do? Uh, let's see. Uh, on a hit, you successfully hold to yourself and tune them out. On a 10 plus, choose two. Okay. What and do you then got? Clear condition or mark potential by immediately acting to prove them wrong. Shift one label up or one label down, your choice. Cancel their influence and take plus one forward against them. I'm going to think about that. Yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of good things. I like canceling the influence. That's awesome. Uh, I know. Taking potential is pretty sweet. There's a lot of good stuff there. Oh, I, yeah, you have to think about that. Link. Um, uh, so, so let me ask real quick. This column of anti-gravity, this uh -huh. is there an actual column, right? As near as you're able to you're immediately sure. figure, out, yes. figure out, yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so Link, what are you doing? You're uh, charging down, and this, the the cables are flying out. What do you what what's going on? I think he's gonna fig, I think he's gonna do a science experiment, and, and it's pretty <laughs> quickly gonna figure this out. Um, if the if the cars uh, and or people outside the column are being pulled down, and the cars and people inside the column are being pulled up, he can basically counterbalance the two masses. Uh, without having to expend a lot of fuel. I mean, the and trick, so the trick there that will, have, the trick there will be able, will be keeping them from swinging out of the column. But you that, might be that you, that is indeed the trick. Yeah. But if you can manage it, he's going to separate from Auto and basically be like a human grappling line down to the ground, so he can provide these people with like a means to escape That's outside awesome. this area. So your experiment looks like this: is you're flying down slash up toward them in the column. You're like, hang on a second, and you kind of do a barrel roll out of what you perceive to be about the affected column thing, and you accelerate drastically because in, instead of flying against the gravity, you're flying with the gravity, so you quickly hit terminal velocity plus heading down, and then you flip back into the column and go, okay, I've got, I got the basic, I got the basic borders there. Also, it helps you get to them a lot faster um, because you're not working against the gravity pull. Also, I played a lot of Strider when I was younger. Oh God. <laughs> uh, okay, that's awesome. All right, so uh, all right, so you you grab some of them and and try to sling like some of the mass out of the column to kind of give them that downward while the other guys are doing the upward and kind of work it that way. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, this is totally the super genius stuff. So ah, boy, I know you. I know. <laughs> Man, I want this to be unleash your powers, but I think it's defend. I I guess. I, I also would have, I also would have gone with making use of a successful assess, but yeah, I can roll defend. Uh, making explain. T tell me about the making use of a successful access. Uh, access the assess. Uh, so when you assess the situation, you can say, "What here can I use to save these civilians?" Okay. Um, how can we best end this quickly? Mm -hmm. Like the, the answers to those questions would then become like either another move or just you do it. But yeah. then it, it's, it's up to you, but yeah, I can roll the fence. I sort of gave you all that stuff anyway. I mean, if you, do you want, you can assess if you want to, I sort of gave you this stuff, but if you take that and ask those questions, you're going to get a plus one forward on the rolls. So that works to your advantage to do the assessment thing. We kind of already narrated it. So we don't really need to go back to that. Um, uh, since my current defend is pretty sucky, I would actually okay, not mind so that. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and do the superior roll then. Let's see how that works out. Do, do, do. Hopefully that works out. That part works out too. Do, do, do. Okay, full hit. So very nice. 
you can ask two of those questions. So what here can I do to save these civilians? And that gives you the whole gravity thing. And what is the next? What's the other question? Uh, how can we best end this quickly? End and this quickly. Sounds, I propose a plan and you can tell me if there's a better one. But yes, yeah. by all means, because I'm, I'm trying to think about what that's going to look like. So go for it. Okay, so we, was this actually defend after all, or was this unleash your powers, or do you care? Uh, I mean, unleash your powers is changing the environment, and I feel like you're not so much changing the environment as using it to your advantage. Um, but it, I still feel like it. It's that it. I like the. I, I like calling out when you're using your big brain as a use of your powers, because that's really your power. Um, uh, so okay. I, I I'll like I like I like that, but I like defend too for defending it. So I'm I'm leaving that as that's dealer's uh, that's player's choice. So which would you rather? Uh, I'll just take defend that. Okay, defend and give yourself a plus one because you're using the the whole gravity thing, the situational thing. Not that I needed it. Woo! Very nice. All right, so you've actually got yourself in a. Re I mean, it's good, but you uh. Because of the cables being somewhat flexible and stuff like that, what you actually have is sort of a slow. You're you're doing a little bit of a juggling act because you can't completely kill all the kinetic energy right away. So what you end up with is like, like they're kind of coming in and out of the column, and you're you're kind of playing almost a gyroscope kind of situation. It's not perfect, but you can between that and a little bit of controlled falling, you're slowly working them down. It's not a pleasant experience. It's like being in a tilt-a-whirl the size of a Ferris wheel for the people who are actually like in the cars and stuff. Um, and it tells you something about myself that I think of tilt-a-whirl as one of the worst possible rides a human being can be on. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. So, yeah, it's not... Uh, we were at Animal Kingdom and I discovered that there's a roller coaster where the cars are tilt-a-whirls. And that may be, I mean, somehow they managed to take tilt-a-whirls and make them worse. I did, anyway. I'm trying to think of the Animal Kingdom. Uh... It's like this dinosaur, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love the, the dinosaurs with the meteor and everything. Oh, that's so much fun. <sighs> No, 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 not the dinosaur ride. There's a roller coaster, and the cars are tilt-a-whirls. That's what it's... I mean, yeah. No, I know the one you're talking about. Oh, I hate that. I, I, can't, I can't ride a regular tilt-a-whirl, so just the idea of that <laughs> thing just makes me want to... All right. So that is happening. It is the weirdest... Yeah, honestly, it's like the guy uh, on the unicycle on the tightrope who's got the two guy like a guy on either end on ladders that are rotating around you while you bike kind of hellish thing and you're doing it freestanding in midair with no cable um but you know what gravity works even when it's going the wrong direction <laughs> damn it Catherine. Oh, i love it yeah, just because she made the um, yes. Iron Man comparison. Oh, because she beat you or because she made the Iron Man yeah. comparison? No, because she opened, started the Tumblr. Let, let's, that's what I'm looking at. Oh, oh, oh. now I have, to, <laughs> I have to see this now. Wait, I have to not. Okay. <laughs> uh, so for defend, uh, keep them safe and choose one. Um, I'm going to clear condition. <laughs> she made a snow Mari... She made a Snow Mari Tumblr. That's so good. <laughs> no, no, no. They're in costume. Link cord. Link. Well, yeah. Snow Mari, a blog about Link x Adam. Link cord is tag? life. It's Link both of them together. Life. Link cord is life. Did you not read the tags? <laughs> oh my God. Snow Mari Link cord. Uh, Technically, that uh, is that is actually a picture of Link cord, not Snow Mari, because it's not in high school. Um, no. Oh Bill, how much oh, hair have you pulled out so far me. tonight? Uh, I'm aware of uh, wig. Just yeah. I I gotta tell you, well, see, I gotta, Catherine. I'm just playing the part of the the worst part of fandom that takes uh, the first fan art that you ever post to a Tumblr blog and then criticizes the fact that you didn't tag it right. Um, 
Or are we really doing <laughs> it's this now? Namari's cat here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that Bill, you have no, literally, no room to stand on when you have already created the domain name for the menagerie. So, uh, <laughs> I, I will tell you right now, this is not getting a link from that page. <laughs> I don't, I don't care how many people mail the webmaster. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so good. After all of the oh effort I put God. in. That is honestly, it. it's so good. Mostly I'm waiting for Jason to log in and moderate comments. He's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Lincoln. <laughs> oh my God. That makes me so, I'm going to follow it. I have to follow it. Makes you so happy. It's got, the, it's got the little star thing. It's got the little rainbow robot guy. Oh my god! Are, are you gonna are you gonna let uh, Kaylee on it? The little are you kidding? She's gonna be like, we gotta follow it immediately. The little rainbow robot guy is so cute. Oh my god, it's so perfect. I don't actually ship. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not actually shipping it, but I am I am shipping the hell. I am fanning the hell out of the uh, out of the site out of the community. I, do, I love the scarf, by the way. That that is very cute. Oh, she did, I this did. as my greatest moment ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we yeah. have rotating, spinning, gravity-driven thing <laughs> happening in midair. Concord. Blender of love. No, I'm sorry. <sighs> uh, oh, my God. You guys are simultaneously the best and the worst. Ghost Girl, what do you do? Because this is what's happening. You've got this sort of... The big blast. The now, girl is on, on on Tumblr on her phone, and she's like, "The hell!" This, I know. There are parts I, of I, modern culture I do not understand. Young brave warriors. Their 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 uh their fraternal passion for each other is palpable. Um, I, I I can hardly wait for Power Pony to find this. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so good. Um, the uh. Oh, okay. Um, in addition to what is going on, so you got the rotating cars, you have uh, 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 Sable, Star Sable, uh, facing off against Concord, and the spin-off of the uh, the interaction between the sword and the shield is also creating like these sort of I almost want to say astral tornadoes are starting to build up on either side and getting strong enough that they're probably going to touch down in probably the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Ghost Girl, what do you do? Because you, uh, you got so... Link. You got Link. I mean, Link, you've totally done this thing with the gravity, but I gotta tell you, this is putting your, your cables to their, like, testing their tensile strength to the utmost. So, th that's a thing. Uh, so I think the first thing I can do to, to help Link is to get people out of the cars and reduce the, the weight he's balancing. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. 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 We'll get the people free, then the cars don't matter very much. Right. Certainly not That's as kind much. Of my... Okay. How do you propose getting them out of there? I'm just gonna phase him. Okay. You'd like. I'm gonna grab what? him and pull him through the door, and they're then they're lap belts. It's faster than so, getting standing there, a ghost in their window, telling them to unbuckle and get out of the car while it's flying in the air. So phasing them out of the car, and then and then kind of, I guess, flying them down. Or are you are you, you're not shadow jumping them really, so that's not a thing. Mm -mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Well, I think what I can do is just phase them out and, and bring them to the cable so Link can drop the, the car and just keep them with the cable. Continuous. Descent. Oh, that's a lot less. Yeah, that's a lot less weight. Oh, I see. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. I kind of understand. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally on board with this. Okay. that's That seems like a much, yeah, that's a really good idea. Physics is our friend. I People think... are easy. Cars are hard. Um, 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 um.
I am going to have you I'll roll start free. with the one farthest away. I'm going to have you over uh, unleash your powers because you are overcoming the ob. You're overcoming. You're removing basically an obstacle from this situation by getting the cars out of the equation. So I think rolling freak is probably <laughs> the best thing because you're using your powers to do all this. Freak, and... freak, super freak. Yep. What do, do I want? To, what are we laughing at? I missed something. Because I got the same roll again. Again. We are the no six minus club tonight. <laughs> okay. I somehow got kicked out of that. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. Um, Catherine, I have another picture for you to put on the Tumblr. Is that right? I am ready. Oh, for so hang on. Why didn't that do what it was supposed Voice, to do? Adversarial GMing stopped with Dungeons and Dragons, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't it? Oh, there we go. Now it's uploading. I'm dying here. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, okay. God oh, damn it. Nice. Really? This one? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I dropped this one by accident in the last game, and, it, and so he knew it was coming at some point. Although it... Uh, anyway. There you go. Save that one. Uh, I don't Give even. What's that? Give me a minute. All right. I may. Did I, if I deleted it too soon, let me know. You uh, did. Okay. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I would hate for that to happen. So. Uh, Ghost girl got a twelve, a full hit. Oh my god. So that was a overcome. Or unleash your powers, rather. You don't, so it's not unstable or temporary. So what I'm curious about, Gigi, is you're pulling these people out and you're, you're, you're phasing them right out. So they don't really have anything to do. They can't really stop you, certainly, although they may be panicked and all that kind of stuff. But you can kind of deal with that because, again, you can just kind of pull them where you will. But they've got to then be, you know, they're. 100 meters or more above ground above the above the surface above the streets and they're grabbing onto these cables how do you help them not just panic and let go well because link is is doing the same thing he's doing with the other people it's not just he's holding onto the cable the cable drops you know cable attaches to them so it's got their yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm there until the, the, the car drops and the cable attaches, right? Okay, yeah, but I figure you've got to move multiple people. So when you swap from one person to the next person to the next person, those ones that you leave hanging onto the cable, I'm just wondering what – you do something – I'm, I'm assuming that's Link. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, he's the one that owns the cable. Right, I'm just I'm, – I, I, I'm, I'm just wondering if there's anything that you're doing to sort of help their – Calm, calm them? calm them sure sure uh you're um, the, you're of course you're, you're totally nailing this in terms of the use of your power so other than just the phasing what else is happening here that's sort of helping you take control of of the situation of these people or are you exuding sort of a calming influence are you yeah are so, you, so, are so you... the, the southern drawl comes out and and she says you know it's it's all right, darling. Just just uh, you know, we're we're here. We've got you. You know, as I'm pulling them through the car, bring them to the cable. We've got you. You're safe. Don't worry. We've got you. So, someone coaxing a baby out of a bassinet, um, and getting the quiet down even as you go. Okay. Or 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 a toddler into a pool. So many links coming so fast. Con I, Concord wouldn't even necessarily understand. <laughs> oh God! See the, that. <laughs> oh, that's uh, why is his why is his five year old sister on Tumblr? Nothing good can come of that. Why is because she not? Tumblr. I love this. Because five years old. The squee gif is so good. <laughs> I just, I mean, honestly, my my daughter is probably high fiving herself right now from the simple fact of the matter that she caused this to start. Uh, 
Okay, which reminds me, I need to mute the mic here real quick and make sure that bedtimes are happening. So give me just one minute here, guys. And then we'll get back to this. She's probably halfway through the chapter one of the fan fiction. I mean, NaNoWriMo is coming up. <laughs> I, I, I worry that I worry that you can't write 50,000 words about this, and I worry that somebody would try anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Catherine does have experience at the, the fanfic writing, so. Every third word would be but. What? One T or two? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I just say Nim is going to get back and be like, what is this? <laughs> I, you know, I'm just, I'm really happy that, that Catherine is of an age where we can be juvenile with her. <laughs> <laughs> Parents will understand, you know, other than trying to be a good role model. How's that working for you? Like, <laughs> well, let's see. I, I, I signed on under my husband's Tumblr account and put hearts on the uh, on the uh, Sumari. So there we go. Responsible. Likes. Mm -hmm. I'm just it's concerned that someone like not in this group will find the blog and just wonder what you're into. It's gonna go viral. That's what I want to see happen. Should I not have posted this to Google Plus? <laughs> it's really concerning. Because he... That's not going to help it go viral, man. I... Okay, but it's really concerning because he's That's, where you, want it. That's where you put cord. stuff you want buried. Uh -huh. Cord was already taken. By what? I mean... I don't know! So, Amar, uh, Sumari was taken because actually Sue Amari, S-O-U-S-N-O space A-M-I-R, Amari, whatever. It's no Amari. It's a person's name. Okay. As also a company in... I got to hear... What was the question that I all I heard was Bill saying don't answer that? What was the question? You don't want to know. Okay. I don't? No. You can listen to the recording later. <laughs> wow, it is it is a company in Pennsylvania. Oh. It is a of a, a, a purebred Arabian horse. It's <laughs> Catherine drew one too. Catherine drew one too. You inspired other additional fan art. Your fan art has fan art. <laughs> you're famous. Now you're famous. You're famous amongst dozens. All right. No. Go. Not two. really. I'm the one who made the blog. Right. But she's she's being she's being all she's chuffed because she inspired this horrible 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 thing that oh, happens. I I think that's fantastic. That's... Just, 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 just encourage her to make her her, her Snow Maria zine and then self-publish. <laughs> there's, there's absolutely no way this could go wrong. Um, Wait, I'm having regrets. I should have done the French fry scene. My powers are weird. Yeah, you French should. Fries. Yeah. Did you hear that part? She's having, no. she's having the regrets, guys, because she realized that what she should have drawn was the french fry scene with the my powers are weird scene well now she can i mean now, now she, you know th there's a there's a tumbler now there's a tumbler for that now she can it's just never too late you make sure that there's Submit a to tumble. make sure that there's a submission button there Catherine. that's 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 your next step in your tumbler um <laughs> god oh dear all right all right uh can't plus one that post on Google enough. Um, all right. <laughs> so, Jason, <laughs> when you're in the, what are you? Oh my what God. am I doing? 
Oh my god. When I hear about uh, what's going on. So you're right. You see all this is what sort of what's happening on the on the television. There's apparently a news choppers like heading in. I feel like they just sort of do random patrols around the city just on the random chance something's going to happen. Um, so yeah, cars. Out of curiosity, and this isn't going to impact anybody's situation too bad right now but do you release the cars into the upside down gravity column or the other way around link when you release them um i'm gonna say you're not gonna accidentally yeah, kill yeah. a civilian or anything with this thing because yeah i've released them up yeah i mean th it's, it's safer that way the thing is like if this ever turns off they're gonna fall really freaking far and what? i'm kind of worried about that yeah but it gives us more time to do something about it yeah yeah it does so i think like base, basically there's like no solid good answer so it's gonna have yeah. to be that way for yeah me. terminal velocity is terminal velocity they can only fall so fast so and they're gonna hit that at the height that they're at already or pretty close to and it and then so. become space junk yeah i mean honestly if the if the if the column stays in effect for long enough they'll be in low orbit before they I, I kind of want to keep at least one car around for something which is coming up, but yeah. We'll okay, that. That, that's fine. It, there's time. This is this is happening over some time. Uh, yeah. Harry, so Jason, you're seeing this happening. Concord, I want to yeah. know how you act directly to counteract her uh, her her telling you how it is because you totally reject her. So what do you do when she says you don't know what you're doing? You're completely outclassed. Blah 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 blah. Ooh. So I think this is that uh, panel where it starts out close on Adam's face when he's like looking down like he might have actually like listened to what she said. And then, you know, there's another panel and it's just like, you know, you're wrong. It's still like zoomed in, but there's just that one little word bubble saying you're wrong. And then it zooms out and he's like, you know, he, he's got that, he's got that look that you so far you've only seen on his mother his mother's face as it's like the panel is zooming out uh, uh around him and it's like you know you're wrong these powers were meant to help people i you know you know and you know these are my friends you know I was given these power, you know, I was given these powers in order to help people and that's what I'm going to do. And there's probably like this really weird like energy pattern behind him that's like multifaceted colors and all that. And then I think this may be the time when Adam finally actually like lets loose uh, a blast of cosmic force. Very cool. Uh, so we're ro are we rolling danger? This might be rolling danger. Yeah, finally, I, I think this might be rolling danger. I, I would love for the next panel to be like a shot of like the curvature of the Earth from space with like this bright beam coming out of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we'll find out about that. Yeah, but, we'll see, um, we'll see how good the roll is. One of those very anime scenes after, yeah. you know, the, the, so, the, the, the super gamma gun is released. The bright spot and then, like, the, the, the sort of rotating star thing and then the beam, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but before that, for my reject someone's influence, I, I'm going to mark potential uh, because I'm immediately acting to prove them wrong. And I'm canceling their influence and taking plus one forward against them. Okay, so what were the two things you were doing? Uh, I'm marking potential because I'm doing the first option right. there sure. where I'm acting immediately against them. Sure. And then I'm canceling their influence and taking plus one forward against okay, them. Okay, so roll danger and take your plus one forward. I, sorry, I got distracted by reading your, your thing about your live blogging quote. Yeah, I don't even know what my life is anymore. <laughs> Uh, oh dear oh dear and there goes the streak I was hoping for that eventually okay <laughs> the only way okay so you that's a two man that is a bad roll okay so it's two and a one and you get a minus one because your danger's low you get a plus one so yeah. it's actually is it actually a three because of the plus one forward 
Nope, nope. I added all that in. Oh, so, man. Yeah. So, so I, I don't. Let me see. Ghost Girl. Technically, I, I, yeah, I don't think there's I, enough people around it to, to team point you out of this. Oh no, I, I think this is really one of those scenes where it's like Adam did the whole thing, and it's like he let loose this blast, and you know probably uh, Sable Star just you know as soon as the blast clears and every, all, all the fog goes away and it's just like Sable Star standing there like or uh, floating there like nothing even happened and it's just like oh dear you really don't know anything. I mean, for my money, it'd be funnier if she got hit, and then that which just wasn't the end of it. It just kept going. But you may have just like pat. So I'm I'm thinking of two different things: where it hits her and doesn't do anything, or like you go to do the blast and it just kind of fizzles right there, <laughs> like like just like like and and that's and she sees it happen and goes, "You just don't understand how any of this works, do you?" Like you kind of came at it all backwards, and she she understands all of that, and you don't. Which which do you think? What what, what do you think? Oh no, I think she completely understands it. Well, no, no, I mean, but do, do you hit her and it doesn't do anything, or do you try to do the blast and get nothing? I think both of those are the same answer, though. Okay, all right. So yeah, because... so you do the big speech. These are the friends and you pull up the thing and the power is building up around your fist and you point out there and it just kind of sparkle and fades away. And she's just she's kind of like your fists are right in the foreground of that of that panel. And she's kind of over there and then it cuts back to her face and she's like, you just don't understand how any of this works, do you? Yeah. Um, OK, so here's what she's going to do. She looks around. And she sees Link, and he's doing his little acrobatic thing with all the people. And there's like one more car left on the on the cable. That Ghost Girl's still working on people hanging onto the cables, and kind of like ah, ah. Um, Harry, you're spinning in. You see the the she sees the tornadoes. Uh, the car, a couple of cars go flying by. Um, she sees the tornadoes, and they're getting closer and closer to the ground, almost touching down. With like this black sort of weird cosmic kind of core to them. And uh, she kind of she just looks at all this craziness, and she's she looks so pleased with herself. She goes, oh, "I think this is a good start." And she uh, she she kind of her paw, she she flips her hand from like palm down to palm up. And you feel the gravity flip. So the cars that just went flying past you guys are now falling back down towards the street. And she opens up one of those, accre- like opens up another accretion disc next to herself and just kind of, just sort of fly, it just sort of floats almost sideways into it with this little like, I want to do Dave's like be seeing you thing from the prisoner, but she doesn't really do that. But it's, you know, it's a little ta-ta kind of princess wave. I, I was I was kind of expecting this. If I can manage it, I want to send a car after her. But if not, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. By all, if you want to throw if you want to throw a danger at it, by all, it's going to be a it's going to be a like a directly engaged thing. But um, if you've got that you've got that last one, and but yeah, release it. Give it a shot. I mean, if nothing else, it'll follow her through the thing. I mean, no, I'll just do it. Okay. No, that's good, Dave. I'm. We're. Um. Does, is there a role for that or no? Uh, yes, there is a role that determines how much I'm able to dictate, or whether I get additional information, or whether it's outside my ken. Give me that role. Uh huh. And I'm going to. Nice. So what does that mean for you? Um, So that means that I know something. So I tell the team one important detail I've learned from my studies. Okay. Uh... 
What did you learn from your studies? What did, what did and, you... and the GM will tell me what, if anything, seems different. Um, guys, um, I've, I've been doing some some reading up about, you know, this is all coming on. on the this comms. is all coming on. It's crackling up on comms, and you can see uh, Jason is, like, like coming in at, like, maximum disk speed towards the fight. Um zooming in on his disc. Oh, I'm actually it... flying in? Okay. Yeah, you can have yourself I, I flying. Was, I thought I was stuck in my room. And I'm no, just, I'm just yeah, with them. you're supposed to be. And any security, oh, okay. ca- anybody surveying the security cameras of that space would tell you that you still are, but you're not. <laughs> so, um, so what do you say? You the same moves on that video game. It's, that's, that's amazing, yeah. Uh, um, guys, heart... Hard gamma radiation is 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 one of the the Sable Star Void Directorate, whatever the hell they are, weaknesses. Um, can, can anybody generate that? Um, I think this is the point where a car goes past your head. Plus, I get to ask the GM a follow up question. Okay, you get to ask the GM a follow up question. What what's that? I do. Um, the follow up question. Oh, sorry. Be, I mean, you were going to say the GM um, tells you is what is there a way to I'm sorry. The GM tells you what, if anything, is different um, from what you're seeing. Uh, she seems a lot more powerful the than. GM, it... Okay, so so I, I roll I roll plus superior on a hit. Tell the team one important detail I've learned from my studies. Okay. The GM will tell me what, if anything, seems different from what I remember. Okay. On a ten plus, I can ask the GM que- a follow up question. They'll answer it honestly. Okay. Uh. What you remember about the vo- they're they're called the Void Shadow Collective, and they're basically like a, a cosmic anarchist cell. Anything that any any intel that you've seen on them, uh, your dad and I'm his very Doctor Who. Yeah, your 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 dad and his compatriots have encountered them rarely. Um, she's actually been on Earth once or twice, or well, that's not true. She's encountered people who are from Earth. You know, your basic Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel kind of, you know, you know, those kind of cosmic folks. Cosmic heroes. Yeah, cosmic heroes. Yeah. She's run into them occasionally. She's never demonstrated this kind of power level. You know, she's been much more B-list, C-list kind of, uh, you know, random troublemaker uh, slash anarchist type of person. She's demonstrating a lot what? more power at this point in time she's um and you could ask a follow-up question yes um is there a way to um is there a way to keep her from escaping well it's a it's she's basically doing like a localized like wormhole so basically from what you're saying she's basically doing that so you'd need some kind of Oh, that's tough. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so are you honestly telling me that you don't know? I honestly don't know if there's a, well, okay. Uh, the, the, the thing would, the, the thing would be some sort of gravitic, uh, uh, wave or disruption or, Something like that, but I don't, so that's the answer. But I don't know if you can do that. I don't. I don't know. Well, if, it, it, knowing the answer doesn't necessarily mean that we can do it. It's just that we know we yeah. would then know what the answer is. Yeah, she doesn't sound how like. About, how about the gravity waves from a large, fast-moving mass? <laughs> that that could certainly dis. Okay, yes, that so could. How absolutely. close to C can you throw that car, <laughs> Jason? You want? It, hey, Jason, if you throw a pointed team at me, then my engage kill everybody down on the ground well that's certainly i mean it's a lot more mass than she was expecting to go through the hole so that could it, it may not stop her from getting away but it can definitely jack up her escape jack up something with her escape route so uh you know you know th- those portals are not entirely stable she you know if we, we if we can interfere if we can interfere with them in any way and link says on it and suddenly there's a car flying up at the freaking you know wormhole um, you know, Dodge Charger or something like that, something with a little bit of heft. Um, so that if you throw a point of team at that, that'll get that seven or that six up to a seven and make it a success. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So let's drop that up there. 
and we'll close that guy down and there's our team point that gets the six to a seven and we the fiction would could yeah. indicate um blowback link just so you know um in terms of your choices here so directly engage a threat on uh, seven nine pick one resist or avoid their blows take something from them create an opportunity for your allies impress surprise or frighten the opposition it makes sense if you avoid the like avoid the blows kind of thing uh it certainly makes sense but if you choose not to choose that you know blowback is not is easy to narrate for me so just so you know is there is there a meaningful result that we can get out of this um other than just avoid that Like if she just gets away and we just kind of like, you know, flipped her the bird on the way out. Like if that's the only option, then yeah, resist or avoid blows. But like if we can make some tangible, you know, of, you know, impact on her, whatever that may be, I'll take the hit. Well, I mean, if if we're disrupting her escape, she may end up someplace other than where she intended, which I am would necessarily know, that. but that would be a nice effect. What, what did you say there, uh, uh, Link? Are you one? Uh, if, are you one? Uh, if Jason was right, like if we can send her somewhere unexpected, I'm 100% on board with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. I'm trying to think. Table Star ends up uh, hitting, hitting her butt on, on, a, on a sandy beach. Here's a strange sound, turns around, and there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, bearing down on her. As the car falls on her. Um <laughs> Uh, oh hell! Have the car fall on the uh, on the T Rex. On the T Rex, right. it's still a funny scene. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it's flailing with its tiny arms to try to get it off. Is a funny thing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I. I'll, it's going to be bad. This is I. Full warning. This is bad science. Yes, you can take something from her, which is which is basically her safe escape route. And she ends up someplace unexpected and unfriendly. In addition to taking a condition, um, angry. <laughs> oh, there, there may be, yeah, probably angry. I, I, I can kind of make a case for either actually um, ang anger. I would also go for hopeless because, like, that was a tough fight. She just effortlessly owned us, and that didn't feel good. But you know. Well, I mean, the condition that she picks up. I mean, she's. Getting, oh yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. She's so yeah, probably. I, She's probably getting angry. Um, or, 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 or guilty if, if she's failed submission that's been assigned. Yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, interesting to figure out what's going on there. She's, uh, the Void Collective is also, to um, some of the agents, they, they, they tend to recruit, um, sh sh everybody, everyone in the Void Collective is a little bit different. That's the other thing I'll, I'll tell you about that is that it's not like just this, it's not the Green Lantern Corps. It's not the Yellow Lantern Corps or something like that. It's a mishmash, crazy. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying the anarchists don't have a unifying theme? Yes, I am saying that. Madness. As, as, but she certainly seems to be some sort of weird. She she knows a lot about the Concordance, so that's not. That that's re that's relevant. Um, anyway, okay. So there is a. Who am I going to? Yeah, okay. So this is, uh, this is, this seems kind of mean. And I don't know if I want it to be this mean. Uh, be mean. Okay, so. Hey, don't be mean. We don't have to be mean. I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna screw. Uh, so my 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 balancing point to this because I want. I think the three people that are closest to her. Should take a hit. Um. But I and I kind of want to have you. I, I kind of want to have Ghost Girl and Link and. And uh, and Concord take oh, a powerful blow. Saying? I ca I kind of want to have Ghost Girl and Lincoln, but that seems really harsh for a for a success, and I kind of think that's not fair. Um, yeah. That seems kind of harsh. Well, um, there was also my miss before. That's true. So. That is true. You did really blow that. 
and we didn't have any fallout from that. Okay, those two combined. Um, so links actually is pretty straightforward. Um, there is basically when the, when the when the wormhole goes down, it doesn't go down in a controlled fashion. It's 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 it's, it's it collapses hard. So you get like I don't want to make a gravitic pulse because we don't need to throw the the orbit of the Earth off. But it's basically an EMP pulse. And um, Link, this dr just dramatically interferes with your suit. Um, so, and actually, because of the type of energy it is, and some stuff that I know with Ghost Girl, that's going to really jack with her too. And Adam, you're right there, and it's all sort of Concord derived or uh, Concord adjacent actually, energy. So the whole thing, it makes sense that these three people would be affected the way that they are. Um, Harry, you're on the ground. I'm not really worried about you. And uh, uh, Jason, you're far enough away. I don't think it's going to matter. And also the discs are hardened um, and you're distant. So I'm not super worried about that. Uh, but you guys, I'd kind of like you to take a powerful blow. But none of you have... Con does does Ghost Girl has still have conditions? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. How many what? do you have? How bad is it? Well, is my flashback clear as a condition? Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we'll, we're, we probably won't be able to play through that tonight, but yeah. Um, but that's okay. So, so assuming the flashback clears the insecure, mm -hmm. then I just have um, hopeless and afraid left. <laughs> just. Okay. So on your character sheet, roll conditions. Uh, Concord gets a hit. Link gets a hit. Uh, I'm actually okay with this because she's actually going to be a big pain in the ass person to deal with going forward. So, and you rather screwed with her with her little smooth. So, escape. Should I uncheck insecure first? Yes, uncheck insecure and then roll. Take a powerful blow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Our, our high rolls come back to haunt us. Aren't you glad? <laughs> okay. So, Ghost Girl, what I think would make the most sense for you right now is uh, uh, you can go either way. So, on the plus 10, you choose one. You must remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. Uh, you lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way or two options from the seven to nine list. What I'd really like for you is the first one. You, you remove, because I have an idea of what that's going to look like. Okay. Okay. And it'll be, I think, fun. Also terrible and horrifying. Um, and also... Well, isn't that how you get rid of afraid? What is that? Run away from something difficult. Ooh. Well, I was going to... I was going the pass out route. Okay. But if Your you... Your choice. Yeah. Um, so this blast comes out and Link, you... you okay, you have seven to nine... Do, do, do. I'll be honest, none of the seven to nine options look relevant to me. Uh, take two conditions doesn't seem really relevant. No. Um, I would like to just go for the 10 plus result of uh, you take yourself out. He's just going to fall to the ground and be unconscious. Okay. Like Otto's, Otto's probably okay, but, Le but Leo is not. Okay, because like sort of a feedback loop kind of a thing. Okay. Or, so or it's just a huge impact you know, falling from a height. Yeah, there's yeah, also there's that. Okay, so... Adam. So what about all the people? We're, yeah, we're, we're, we'll work up. Well, there's two two of you that are going to be okay. Uh, Adam, what are you what are you doing here? What do you think? Uh, I I think that the actual like this is just me, but I think the whole like little gravitational effect probably didn't affect Adam that much. Mm -hmm. I think those words that happened before it and kind of everything that followed afterwards was just like a really bad hit to his psyche. Okay. So it's the words that hurt more than the than the effect. You're not really feeling that, but you're. So you, are you taking conditions? Yep, we're we're marking insecure and hopeless. Okay. So, Jason and Harry. Harry, you were just pulling up and going. You know, if I run around those tornadoes fast enough in the other direction, I can probably disable them. Um, and you're pulling up, Jason. You're you're coming closer. Uh, you saw the car go sailing, and you saw the rather explosive decompression of the wormhole and said, yes. And then you see two things. You see Link basically go limp. 
and the cables go slack and the people that are hanging on to them and him all start to fall to the ground. And you see Ghost Girl become absolutely corporeal as she swoons, basically. Okay, so she's not see-through, she's not ghosty, she's not misty, she's a girl in a dress falling from a great height. Harry, you see this too. Uh, Adam, what two conditions do you take? Oh, I took uh, insecure and hopeless. <sighs> God, I love this game so much. Um, Harry, what do you do? Link is plummeting. The people that were hanging on to his cables are still holding on to the cables, but also plummeting. Uh, Charlotte is falling out of the sky like a lace decorated rock. <laughs> what do you do? Um, well, now sounds like a great time to like learn to fly. You know what? I'm faster than you. <laughs> faster than who? Who are you Those talking girl? about? Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, but I mean, everybody, everybody here. Everybody here. Yeah, you're faster than her falling. It's just a question of like, how do you, what do you? She seems uh, catchable because she looks like a real girl. Well, be concerned about the people who are not dead who are plummeting to yeah the I mean hard ground you've got probably one two three four five six seven eight. you got about eight people on the cables plus link so like there's ten falling bodies in the sky not to mention the cars that are higher up and coming down um I think I'm going to try to, you know, the move where we kind of, you know, that gently sucks people and cushions them down to the ground. So, uh, like, air, you mean like, a, you mean like air manipulation or, or? Like the running in circles or spinning the hands in circles to create the air cushion. To, to create yeah. The, okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I think that's probably going to be defend. Jason, what are you doing? If you're on mute still. <sighs> well, heck, gosh, it's not like I haven't just been, you know, run, run through the doom track ringer. Um, if need be, I will try to create a cushy, soft, downy, cushiony, nanobot cushion thing so between the air to fall into or a mm -hmm. net could you do a net I, I could do a net i mean basically to, to do anything that's kind of wide enough and large enough i mean you're definitely going to be pushing more effort the net probably would i guess maybe take fewer nanobots to create um it's still, still gonna be. It's still construct. yeah. It's 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 still an awfully big construct. How does that and, work? And with, it's, it's is that a doom track thing when you just hyperextend yourself automatically? Yeah. If, if I if I extend myself hyperextend myself with the uh, the nanobots, it's a doom track thing. Okay. Um, so wait, Dave, you're saying that Jason isn't going to dive out and try to save Charlotte? Well, Charlotte's part of the bodies that are falling to the ground, right? Okay, so he's. He's he's not going. I mean, he's going to look to see what's you know. He'll he'll watch what's being covered by Harry, but he will try to extend his effort to cover whoever is involved. Now, if, if Charlotte is you know a block over, and Harry's covering all of the the falling civilians, right, and their cars. Well, they're all kind of falling within like thirty meters of each other because they're all kind of inside of this or very near this reverse gravity column that is no longer a reverse gravity column okay um, um you know you see so your bot your nanobytes are meant to absorb hits that kind of thing like like that's they, true so 
the extension can simply be to almost like actually sort of leap from the disc and try to grab as like sort of pull in as many people as you can and just extend the coverage to everybody. Right. Give every, give everybody one of their, you know, one of, one of the absorbent falling from mid air spheres to protect their fall. I'm suddenly thinking of Iron Man. Like, to catching them. I'm, I'm thinking of Tony Stark throwing like his, his, his like commandable armor around Piper as the house collapses in Iron Man two. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be another way to do it. Certainly. Yeah. That kind of a thing. So what, what, what does it, what do you, how do you want to, um, do that. I, I guess my my only concern is how long it's going to take me to see what effect Harry is having on these falling people. He can slow it down. He's going to have a lot more effect on the bigger bodies, like the cars and stuff like that. He can slow them down. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it maybe he's catching the people, and something needs to be done with the cars. So maybe I need to just deflect the cars out of the way. Well, the cars are actually easier for him to kind of throw, like push to the side. They're, he can slow people down, but there's no way he's going to give them a gentle landing. Okay, then. Uh, so kind of, it's kind of you guys together. It's really about who. Okay, so he's going to slow them down. I'm going to go ahead and then just and create a cushion on the ground for them to land into, which sort of involves is... you leaping down there, kind of, and just. Yeah. I mean, you need to get down there. And sort of well, I can I can spray the nanobots out a distance. So either way, you're from me in. Okay. Uh, how let's see how effective Harry is. Harry, would you? I think it's defend. So so yeah, roll superior. Uh. Oh, sorry, savior. I lied. Superior. Oh no! Don't throw me in that briar patch. Yeah, I know. I know you're really good at that one right now. So full hit there on defend. Defend someone or something from an immediate threat. Roll savior for NPC threats on a hit. You keep them safe and choose one. A seven and nine, it costs you. Expose yourself to danger or escalate. The sister doesn't do that. Um, choose one. Add a team to the pool. Take influence over someone you protect. Clear a condition. Do you have a condition? You don't. Do you want to take influence over somebody that you protect? Uh. Do you have influence over Link right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do that. Your defense is really good. Um. Since he's acting for, yeah, Jason, you may not need to, yeah, I, I don't know that you need to hyperextend yourself is the thing. I don't, I don't know okay. that you need to necessarily do that. You're really kind of, um, I'll actually, you'd be, you'd be the, you'd be doing like sort of the, yeah, like the car separating thing car isn't really, catch. isn't really, yeah, but it's that last little cushion thing which isn't really so it's it's really more like the you know all the dishes fly in the air and you're doing the thing of like catching all of them and setting them and setting them down without any of them breaking like that last little little right. bit kind of a deal um uh how impressive do you want this to look on camera <laughs> i'm asking somewhat meta level everybody's well honestly given uh, i mean given the immediate danger to these people uh, i'm really not thinking about and having just arrived on the scene i'm really not thinking about how impressive it is on camera i want to yeah just make sure no I, I i know jason's not thinking about it i'm just wondering what what dave thinks um i don't think oh, okay um i don't know i, I really kind of visualize it as you know they're descending at a slower speed and they kind of land on the 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 stunt the stunt man cushions on okay. the ground right i don't think you need to extend and this is partly because harry harry took a little bit of a, a burden sure. off of you doing this thing so i don't think you need to extend yourself and i don't think we really need to roll because it seems super redundant since we've established people are safe um and there's not much point in you having to spend the point either. Spend a point of team. So we'll just we're just gonna go with what it is. 
which is which is you're just doing the thing and and that's and, and it's okay because I haven't thing. done anything with Alicia this this uh, this meeting so so uh, that's going to give you like a doom truck. It's going to be doom anyway. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> I, I swear to God it's going to be nothing but 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 Phil but Pennsylvania next next nice. next session. I swear <laughs> to God. Uh, and, there's something I asked Dave out of character that we can use in character to let him pursue his nemesis this session. Oh yeah. If we have time. Yeah. But yeah, we can. Uh, Alicia, what? What was that? I don't know. It's on. Like... Alicia, I'm dreaming a girl. Alicia. <laughs> that's so good all right so everybody's down and there's you it's like the dust settles um i'm gonna say for the sake because i don't want i don't want to continue this into the next thing i'm gonna say for the sake of the the gravitic slash emp pulse kind of dissipates the tornadoes because i don't want to have to deal with that um as a ghost girl she is she looks like a perfectly regular girl completely unconscious but like flesh and bone uh and as you're kind of looking there and kind of like okay this is mildly weird she starts to become translucent and sort of achieve that sort of or reacquire that sort of this but but for for a, a solid couple of minutes there she's just another looks like a civilian in in like period garb for a little bit and uh link will call your unconsciousness the the uh the the feedback loop a little bit with with all the systems shutting down simultaneously um in fact i don't think you need to be unconscious i think it just be your sh your suit kind of went dead for a second uh anyway uh, he did that. He did that. Tony Stark flying too high up into the air and and freezing up. <laughs> kind thing. of. Kind of. Uh, and there's that is a very disconcerting thing to deal with when you're in the suit and the suit does not respond because then it becomes very much like a flying coffin. Um, there's an episode of uh, Avengers: Earth's Mightiest Heroes that would be relevant here. Uh, uh, and Adam weirdly is still up in the air still <laughs> still staring at that at where the at the spot where the where the wormhole was at just kind of looking at it uh for a little bit at least adam what do you do are you are you just going to continue are we going to close out the, the 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 episode with you still looking at that spot or not uh yeah i think that's a i think that's a good place to end all right that's, yeah, the, zooming in on the zooming in on the glare the, the second to the last panel is that the the third to the last panel is as the dust is dying down and things are settling down and people are lowering being lowered down to the to the street and standing up but still haven't quite released their death grip on Link's cables um <laughs> Other civilians and stuff that were watching this, other other random passerby and stuff who were watching this whole thing, are like sort of slowly clapping and it's building up and there's some cheers and stuff because, you know, there's some cars in trees, but aside from that, remarkable little damage. Remarkably little damage. Um, and so as the as the little cosmic tornado things are dying out and the dust is falling down and stuff like that. So that's the the clapping starts, and then this. Third, the second to the last panel is at like the like the Adam's back and looking at where the wormhole was, and we get and the last panel is a close up kind of of Adam's face as he's looking at this thing. What and the behind him, kind of below him, is the clapping and stuff, but it's distant, it's far away, and it's not it's not clearly not affecting him. What's the expression on his face? I think it's just that sort of like. Oh geez, uh, like that's a sort of like blank look. Like he, you know, he basically this is this is you know out of character. This is a kid who thought he was he was about to unleash his moment of truth, but he didn't have it unlocked yet, <laughs> <laughs> and so nothing happened wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. and he's a ima he's imagined they told me they fixed it he, he ima he's imagined what that moment what that what that big like when i finally show them really totally what i can do 
Uh, this could be the moment of truth. Uh, yeah, and he's he's imagined this didn't. he's imagined this moment a dozen times, and it 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 just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. Oh man, and that's where we're gonna end on that. Uh, I O. Oh, what was the game we used to have the I O? Oh, uh, 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 In a Wicked Age. There was a, a a fun mechanic on In a Wicked Age where if somebody didn't get enough time, they went on the I O list. It wasn't the only reason. <laughs> and then at the like the next session, they were like the people who were on the I O list. They had like the most karma for doing really cool stuff because they were on the I O list um, <laughs> more than more than other people. So I O uh, Jason and Harry next session because they didn't get a ton of screen time. Although they did get to save everybody's bacon at the end. So I guess a little bit of karmic mm. payoff. And look at Jason actually leading in the way that Link told him to. By actually being, yeah. you know, useful team member. Yeah. As opposed to give me a sit rep. I like that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if only it had been like, you know, uh, three moves sooner, and I could, they could have actually done something with the information I had. No, they did. They, they, you gave them the Well, they, 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 yeah, <laughs> sent her back to the Mesozoic, but you yeah, know, you, you did still get better. You did screw with her. Um, and I, I kind of liked that, although we did the, um, well, okay. Concord ended up with conditions, but I like that we did something where you guys, the other two didn't end up with conditions. They're just kind Except of. Except for me. <sighs> did you? Yeah, I remember. I thought you were just knocked out. Oh, you gave me a knocked out instead of conditions. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't give you conditions. I just gave you a knockout. Um, okay. you, you, the fact that you had but conditions. In character, you're probably going to be concerned. Yeah, in uh, in the the role was bad because you already had conditions, but um, mm -hmm. but we'll get to. So we might have to just have you tell us what. The, oh yeah. So we'll start out next session with the flashback. Um, to oh, I kind of mm -hmm. like this. I kind of like this. We'll start with the flashback. I should go back two sessions, do the flashback, and then we'll do and then we'll do Pennsylvania. <sighs> All right. So and, and don't forget to check out the uh, <sighs> pony images on the uh, Discord page. The pony images. Hmm? I oh, am, yeah. I am immediately interested and at the same time horrified. Oh. You know, on the one hand, I, I do like the the more, more kind of you know sparkly, starry one for Concord, but the other one that with the rainbows kind of matches his whole color scheme. So I, I'm I'm torn. Oh, Celestia, yeah. Oh wait, but Rainbow Dash. The Rainbow Dash is what started it. Oh, that's for Harry. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah Rainbow right. Dash is Harry. Oh. The Concordia is uh, Crystal Con Trixie. Crystal Trixie. With the the stars inside her, unless you want well, her to be, I don't know, you know she, midnight. Shining armor for Link is pretty good, though. That's that's the shining armor for Link is very good. That's that's so. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if Bill's ready to take any more. Uh, uh, Grief. <laughs> image memes on on behalf of his character. Um, uh, I'm I'm game if you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stuff that comes out of this game makes me so happy. God. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have fans. You understand that? You have, you have granted, like, kind of singular. But my nephew sits up here, and he can only hear the whole conversation if he sits over in. So on game night, my nephew, who is, I want to point out, in college, comes up here and sits on the floor of my daughter's rooms, and and they talk while they listen to the game. Like, they, <laughs> like that's their, that's their, that's their, like. That's, together to their that's, time that's their together time like tv show for the week is <laughs> listening to you guys um anyway that's neither here nor there all right um concord did you yes. get closer to the team grow further away from the team or grow more into well i think yourself? it ended i well i think it ended with ultimately him just ultimately being like what the hell and taking a fourth option that doesn't exist there. <laughs> I think primarily he did grow closer to the team through the majority of the, through the majority here. Yeah. And so we're going to go ahead and give. You, you gave a, 
because you gave, you gave I a, mean, you gave a great speech before your powers fizzled. Yeah, before you know nothing worked. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I, I up kinda, until that point we were on fire. I believe we're I believe we're on the same page in saying the fact that he fizzled is kind of awesome. I don't know how you feel about it, but I I just feel like it's going to make when it finally does work for him so good. I don't know. I have that same thought, which is why uh, when I take my mark potential and I get my next advancement, which you should which happens, which happens right now. You did mark for the two, right? Yes, I did. OK. All right. That was why I was one short. I see. Oh, you're marking potential for uh growing closer to the team excuse me bless you yeah don't yes i had kind of forgotten that mark that growing close to the team gave you guys potential so don't forget that um and link has influence so uh link i'm sure already has influence so yep and he, he's already given me the stuff oh nice yeah enjoy your new condition and she, <laughs> did you raise something that was already up Oh no, my danger was my worst thing possible. Yep. Danger up save your down, I think works okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks solid, you're right. I agree. And that gets his danger somewhat out of the I think you were at negative two, right? Yes it was. Alright, so there you go. You start moving danger. Start dan moving danger that way. Um, all right. Speaking of Link, Link, did you grow closer to the team, grow further apart from the team, or grow more into the image of yourself? Uh it's gonna just uh, reignite the shipping, but I grew closer to Adam this time because we fought <laughs> basically as teammates. Oh yeah, um, it was good. Oh yeah, it was good. We, uh, you know, he's he's looked to Link in the past for leadership, and this time uh, Leo went the other way because this is clearly Adam's, you know, Deal. ball game, and he, he's just playing. That was really good. Oh one. yeah, we saw, we saw that worked out. The mid combat, uh, the mid combat comfort and support is probably one of my favorite things that I've that have come out of this game, and I tell you what, that is a that is a crowded elbows to the ribs shoving line of of things favorite things of the game right? it, it, it was a line that leo used at, at the end of us earlier conversation and i'm really glad that i could reincorporate it, it. Re yeah. It. yeah 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 it was very very good i i hope that everybody is happy with this well okay with the exception of the guys that I didn't give enough time to. Well, see the thing oh, is no, I'm still happy with it because I mean look, we got we got a new fan site. <laughs> got... yeah. I mean, on the one hand, we got I'm... the boys you know, as power ponies. We got, and, you know, and idle hands with the doubles workshop, so there was plenty of time to graffiti on was, the uh, the backdrop. I was so. and actually I really like the graffiti, so um I'm a bug. My superiority should be obvious. <laughs> My we got a sword, we got a flying cars, we got an accrete. How many people get to doodle an accretion disc? I mean, I, mean, you know. I, I have to say though, I mean, on the one hand, Harry didn't get to do very much. On the other hand, if Harry had been busy, we wouldn't have the Tumblr site. So I feel like Catherine's involvement in the game was as high as it ever, you know, as you know, as normal because Tumblr site. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so yeah, with the crowd, I'm also applauding, applauding everybody else here. All right, so growing close to the team, give the influence to Adam. That's already taken care of. Uh, we'll go to Ghost Girl next. Are you closer to the team, further apart, or more into the image of yourself? You're I think on? I'm closer to the team. Um, yeah, particularly at, you know, after we go through the whole going and doing something stupid. Um, and Definitely want to find out. I'm so deadly curious about that. You know I'm going to be opening with that next session. So... Uh, closer to team. So, who do you give influence to? I mean, there's a couple of options here because you, I mean, you, you heard Concord, you spoke directly in Link's mind, also in Harry's mind. You worked with Link to save the civilians. No, I can't hear you now. What happened? No. Hello. Oh, there we go. I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. I, I that can hear was you. weird. The endpoint on Discord died. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what was the last thing anybody heard? You were asking me okay. where where I was, and I was saying that Ghost Girl grew closer to the team. Yep. Um, because she came to to help them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, particularly after, um, the the flashback and. Uh, and them coming to help her and my, and my thought was my, my then my question after that was uh like who do you become closer to because 
you you heard Concord as he was sort of broadcasting on what he thought of as the radio channel, but it's really just the talk to everybody channel, um, kind of everybody kind of nearby channel. Uh, you heard him. You spoke directly in Link's mind. You worked with Link to save the civilians. You also called out to Harry. So there's a lot of options there. Who do you think you grew closer to? Or, or who do you give influence say, to, rather? I'm going to say Link because we were working together on on you know working together on that yeah that closely. was a really cool way of getting them out of the cars and getting get, taking the cars out of the equation i like that a lot so link influence over charlotte if you don't already have it and if you do shift those labels which i'm sure you do because you have influence over everybody right now over everybody <laughs> link has influence on gg so I'm the girl freak up mundane down is your freak maxed already I'm, I'm I'm suspicious that it might be. Uh, my freak is three. Uh oh. Rawr, rawr. Okay. Does that have a condition for me? I think that does give you a condition. Sorry. Have a choice of no, that's fine. Wah, 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 wah. Insecure, guilty, or angry. Assuming that insecure is cleared in the flashback. Yes. <laughs> uh. Well, you did just turn corporeal, and I imagine that would make you pretty insecure. Yep. Back on to insecure again. Yep. yep. We'll go okay. right back to insecure. We will. We have to do a lot of comfort and support next time. Uh, lots, lots of uh, team bonding. You know, honestly, I have this. There's this guy on the masks list that did this whole like, not a module, but he did like this like. 10 page sort of source thing on what happens when the team needs to leave Halcyon city for a while. Here's all never, you know, and do a road trip together in a, in a vehicle. And it's, that's the whole thing. Holiday road. Oh, there'll be so many. Okay, I, I just want you to know, I'm looking for the ghost girl power pony. And there is an entire set of ghost ponies as well as an entire set of phantom ponies. Just so you know. Oh my God. Wait, phantoms are different than ghosts? Yes. Apparently, phantoms have kind of bat wings and the look a little bit. The pony that walks. Oh, but she might have to be this one, which is Banshee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, all right. So, condition for Charlotte. And, but you get, right, if you grow closer to the team, you get you still get potential, right? Yeah. All right. Don't forget to do that. Because I feel like I have forgotten. I think sometimes people forget that they get potential from growing closer to the team. Oh, wait, wait. So the, so actually, I'm sorry. Grow closer to the team. Explain who made you feel welcome. Give influence to that character and clear a condition or mark potential. So you can clear a, condi a clear condition if you like uh, rather than mark uh, potential. Well, where's the fun in that? Well, Ghost Girl has three right now, and she doesn't benefit from having a bunch. So, uh, clear afraid or clear hopeless? I would say hopeless. You were super effective. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. So I'm you, still afraid because of like and you picked all up, that other and you, stuff. And you picked up insecure because the what do you mean I'm a real girl? What do you mean I was a real girl? And why can't I remember it? And what does that mean? Why can't I be a real girl now? Yep. So. You kind of yeah. traded. You kind of ultimately. Like you kind of ultimately traded, but. Uh, okay. Okay. And Harry. That's an interesting question. Closer to the team, farther away from the team, or growing into your own image of yourself. Hero boy. Did Catherine fall asleep? I think... Oh no! Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I would have felt really bad if I'd done that twice. Awaken everything. Oh, cool. So you think what? I think sir to the team. Okay. Explain who made you or like who you grew like who who you're giving influence to, who made you feel welcome. I guess Ghost Girl called you for help. That's kinda cool. Uh, Jason worked with you on the final big rescue thing that got all these local people applauding for you. Deciding between. Oh, 
Uh, closer to Jason since kind of out there at the so end. I was, I was so. out during the time that you guys were doing anything. Yeah. There well, really, any casualties and everything. Yeah, and also he actually had you know useful input. So there's that. A lot of what you've been complaining about with him as a leader he was not what he did this useful... time. I'm shocked. <laughs> so, Jason, you get influence over uh, uh, Harry, and I don't think you had that. Um, well, I so I actually had for my influence over, I actually had an entry in here that said Jason, and I'm not sure who that was supposed to actually have been. It definitely, uh, was, I don't know if it was Harry or if it was. Out, out, wait, you had influence over yourself. I had influence you... over myself. <laughs> who did you? Who did you? Who do you have listed besides that? Concord and Jason. Uh, it was supposed to be Link. Link gave you influence last time. Okay. Uh, well, so... that's the thing because Link, Link, you know, Link and Jason are kind of these this this weird reflexive thing okay yeah. so that makes sense yeah so, uh, so i guess now i have influence over harry yeah harry and i don't think you have any conditions so you get a point of potential Woohoo! ding no harry does not you oh harry does okay not you uh you might depends on what happens next. well yeah that's gonna be uh so be the yeah next one. harry mark a point of potential and finally jason um, I feel closer to the team, and actually, I was going to go ahead and give it to Harry because, you know, he, you know, he he backed my play, or I backed his play, and I felt like we worked as a team to keep all save those the, people, save including else's Ghost Girl, safe. Yeah, uh, do the final saving. Do the final saving. Do, uh, the, do the final saving. Uh, Harry, do you um, do you have influence over Jason already, or no? Yeah. You do. All right. So decide what labels you want to move. And, and I will take I will take the point of I'm I'm not going to take off. Did you take a condition? I have oh, a, I, I have... do have a condition. I have an insecure on on me. Um, I don't man. I tell you what, you though you really came through with like that little bit of I could I could yeah, see I could see know, dropping insecure. Damn, damn. I I should probably take that insecure off. It's oh, of... I'm, I'm but I'm one box away with my potential. Um, I'll take the insecure off. I, I think I should do that because yeah. that makes more sense. Because I came in, I had, I had an answer. I gave guidance. I almost, I was always going to choose Link for the. Uh, he was my second choice for the the the, yeah. the who I felt closer with because I came with the advice and he like threw a car and you know. That's good stuff. That that's meaningful. Especially after the whole uh, conversation you guys had. Uh, Harry, what labels do you shift on him? Do you think? Uh, I'm. Typing that in. Okay. The Nothing. bad news is the vehicle I threw was the hover disk, so yeah. like we're enemies again. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing. Nothing that you can move on him is going to cause him to take in condition. So save your up, superior down, help defend people, but you were bedridden, so it was really stupid of you. I like that. That's good logic right there. Nice. <laughs> nice job. Did not assist the situation. Nice job. What the hell are you doing out here? Um, <laughs> I saw what kind of shape you were in. You should not be out here. All right. So, yeah, Shuck Insecure. All right. All uh, right. Hey, Doyce. Yes, sir. Uh, robot head analysis. Do you just want to do that on the forums or? Uh, we can do it. We can do really, really. Oh, God, I got to do this. Um, yeah, we can do very. It's when you plug it into an analytic, uh, like what? Plug it into like a some sort of standalone terminal or something like that. So you can like run diagnostics on it or whatever. Yep. Okay. Uh, that may be. Like if you if you time. if you want to wait on this, that's fine. I no, just wanted to no, mention it. no, Leo, it's Numa. There's a problem. See, I knew you were gonna do this shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Actually, what she says is, yeah, uh, uh, Leo, it's Numa. Something went wrong. She's not actually in there, is she? Yeah, she's totally in there. I'm not a fucking okay something something happened something, something. and uh something happened and she was forced she and she this is the problem she doesn't know what it automatically kicked on a like a restore of a backup that she had made just before she left um so 
it's it's like she's she's sort of restored from backup and she didn't have a body handy so she just kind of uh did what she could with what was immediately available she would prefer not to continue to do it because this thing doesn't have a mouth um part of the problem i i am this is why i cleared guilty just for this (laughs) moment <laughs> because you ripped the head off your girlfriend, yeah, that'll do it to you. Um, <laughs> well, I, uh, no, see, slave, see uh, if, I, if I was really robot no, see what I should girl. Do, so, so if what I really should do, what I really should do, if I was a real masks GM, as I would say, Link, this is Numa. Something went wrong, and then have you take a powerful blow? Like that's what I should do. But I just did that to you, and I'm not going to do it again. I was fully expecting that too. So yes. Well, we might. Well, We'll we'll see what we find. Maybe I can do another dun 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 that I drop a take a powerful blow on next next session. But we don't need to do it right now. Um, God damn it! <laughs> and the best part is she has no idea what happened because she wasn't gone long enough to have gotten to Japan. So what the hell happened? Um, but yeah. Something... Well, of course she doesn't because she's a restore from backup. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't know what happened. But like logically, she was only gone for like. She she restored from backup like four hours, not quite uh, seven hours after she left. She's nowhere near Japan. She barely would have been out of the airport. So, see, this is why I'm glad I said she's just taking a regular flight and added that addendum of, and this means Aegis gets to monitor her. Because now I'm going to make a phone call, but we'll do that another time. Yeah, we'll, do that, another, we'll do that another time. I think that's I think that's something almost I want to keep in the game because it's it's good stuff and you. Uh, we got to get some more link action happening in there, but yeah, that's cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Everybody happy? Oh yeah. I am pleased. I am. I am personally pleased. If you're not happy, please let me know. But uh, if you are happy, just keep doing all the other stuff you're doing because it's freaking awesome. It was uh, a, a wonderful little extra bit of color uh, on my vacation to have this stuff, all the stuff you guys were doing this last week happening too. So I was on vacation and I got to read awesome stuff. So. It's all good. And hey, and I got this. Yeah, that's right. I made a custom lightsaber while I was in Disney World. <laughs> anyway. Technically, we made four, but, you know. Oh, so that was what was in your bag. Yeah, it was lightsaber healths. Yep. Those were lightsaber healths. Um, yeah. So well, I knew that. I didn't know that they were the custom made. You can ones. make, yeah, you can make like your own like it's covers cool. on them. And the what's really cool is the part up at the top where the it sort of houses the blade. If you take, if you do like a regular lightsaber, you get the light, you get, you get the lightsaber sound, right? If you mount the cross piece like Kylo Ren sort of model on it it changes the sound that the lightsaber makes. So instead of like this traditional lightsaber, it makes like the, you know, like the, with lots of crackling crap happening in the background. And it sounds like a different kind of lightsaber. And it's just because of the ex- the, the cross piece that goes up at the top, changes the sounds that it makes. Cool. Yeah, it, it like loads a different sound file or whatever. It's really cool. Anyway, so yeah, thank you guys for all that stuff. It is late. Anybody have anything else before we sign off? Uh, Dois. Yes. Really sir. quick. Did you see the move I was thinking about taking in the chat? In the chat. How's this for Concord's new move from the innocent? Growing into power when you unleash your powers to do something Sable Star can do. Mark a condition to roll plus savior instead of plus freak. Ooh. Because there was that, and there was. Hold on a second. Uh, see it their way. When you react to, or when you reject someone's influence, when they equate you with Sable Star, we'll put in there. Roll Savior instead of plus, or roll plus Savior instead of plus nothing. When you accept someone's influence, when they equate you uh, with Sable Star, mark potential. Hmm. I would go because we've been a lot about you trying to figure out your powers and stuff. I would actually go with the other thing, uh, the 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 first one that you mentioned there. Okay. I think that. Uh, let me look at the innocent thing, but I think I'm okay with it. Growing into yeah. Yes, because. Unleash your powers I, I, to do something, I, I, Yeah, sure. 
it when is, I look at the innocent playbook and I'm, I'm looking at this little dynamic, I'm like, Bill was right. Most characters can be represented by mo a, a bunch of different playbooks oh, depending yeah. on how you do it. So yep. yeah, it's there's so many little bits happening and stuff. It it, it makes it both. I mean, it's it's great because you can look at every playbook and go, oh, that's totally so and so. But at the same time, you can do that like, you can slice Superboy like five different playbooks if you really want to, um, and a mix of different playbooks certainly. Um, so for this one, yeah, pick pick something. She she's got the gra the gravity flip thing. Uh, she's got like the wormhole thing. She and, got the sword, and she's got like the sort of form weapons, you know, like form starlight into a weapon kind of thing. So yeah, figure something out. Figure out which one you kind of like from that. And... Oh no, I figure it's going to be one of those things where Adam isn't going to want to do those things, but he's going to slowly figure out how to do those things. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Dave, real quick, I sent you a PM on the forums a few days ago. If you get a chance, take a look. Right. Oh, oh those okay. are, yeah, those are tricky to, to, to see. I always have to, like, I, I, how to I get did to not notice, so I will. Uh... Yeah. It's probably a notification thing to see that, but yeah, if you click on your, you have to click on your head and, or your yeah. account settings and then go into the inbox to see it. So, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Great game. Thank you for the rescheduling. We'll be back on Tuesdays next week until the end of the year, barring weird holiday shenanigans. Oh, yeah, this was great. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Talk to you guys later. Right. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.